stepped, sing this song loud and clear. The stepped fast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy is never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness, the steadfast love, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy is never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Father, we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the victory won on the cross of Calvary. Father, we thank you for your name which is above all names. Father, we thank you for the mightiness of the name of the Lord. We thank you because your name is the absolute name, the absolute power. Your power is the absolute power. Your name is the absolute name. There is no power that is beyond your power. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, we are gathered at this prayer outreach. Meet each and every one at the point of their needs. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Lord, move in our lives in a new way. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Volcanic prayers for divine acceleration. Volcanic prayers to secure divine acceleration. In 1 Kings chapter 18, from verse 45, 1 Kings 18 verse 45, And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain, and Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. And he gathered up his lungs and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. He overran the chariot of the king and the horses. And in Psalm 84, verse 7, it says, They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. They go from strength to strength. This is a prophetic message. Listen carefully, beloved. The only thing some people need to move ahead is for the Almighty to increase their speed. This is why I'm prophesying upon your lives now. Everyone shall increase your speed. 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 In the name of Jesus. And as you pray this volcanic prayer to secure divine acceleration today, everyone shall increase your speed and you shall have divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus. What is divine acceleration? Divine acceleration is for the Almighty God to give you speed, and He shall give you speed in the name of Jesus. Divine acceleration is to receive the speed to run and not be weary, to walk and not faint. Divine acceleration is God's hands coming upon you to outrun those ahead of you. Divine acceleration is God's leading coming upon you 
to become a pace setter or to set the standards. Divine acceleration is God's hands of power coming upon you to raise the bar with what has not been done before. Divine acceleration is divine advancement. Divine acceleration is divine fast forward. Divine acceleration is divine elevation. Divine acceleration is divine courier service. Divine acceleration is fast tracking your journey in life. A supernatural lifting up. A getting ahead of your colleagues. Divine acceleration is being a pace setter. Divine acceleration is overtaking your colleagues and competitors in the race of life. Divine acceleration is walking while others are crawling. Divine acceleration is running while others are walking. Divine acceleration is flying while others are running. Divine acceleration is to enjoy extraordinary speed. Divine acceleration is the almighty God giving you rapid progress. Divine acceleration is almighty God catapulting you from the back to the front. Divine acceleration is enjoying divine speed. I pray for you that every form of delay in your life shall be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus, they shall be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus, every agenda of delay shall be dissolved in your life. In the name of Jesus, that hand that came upon Elijah shall come upon you in the name of Jesus. Every must wage war against the powers waging war against you. God will add to your speed. God will add to your progress. Receive divine acceleration by the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive divine acceleration by the power in the blood of Jesus. If you cry out in this program today, the Almighty God will surely esteem your speed. This is an assurance. Divine acceleration is increasing speed through God's power. Divine acceleration is speedy progress. Divine acceleration is 18 steps towards destiny enabled by God. Divine acceleration means always being ahead of others. Can you shout this loud and clear? Oh God, arise and accelerate my journeys. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and accelerate my journey. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and accelerate my journey. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and accelerate my journey. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When you enjoy divine acceleration, what took others 30 years will take you to. When you enjoy divine acceleration, people we turn you to a spectacle. When you join divine acceleration, you move at a speed that will daze your enemies and surprise your friends. Say this after me. Say, my father, you are the great physician. Give me the injection of divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus, my father, you are the great physician. Give me the injection of divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus, give me the injection of divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus. When divine acceleration enters into your bones, you don't struggle like your contemporaries. You don't struggle like your parents. You do not suffer satanic delay. Your efforts are not aborted. You don't suffer from breakdown at the point of breakthrough. You don't suffer from when your setbacks are overcome you. Rather, your setbacks are buried. Say, I receive the anointing. For divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I receive the anointing. For divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I receive the anointing. For divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pharaoh said, I will overtake them. I will pursue them. But he failed woefully. Elijah overtook the chariots of Ahab. What does it mean to overtake? Remember what David said, Sir, shall I pursue, shall I overtake? God said, pursue them. You shall surely overtake. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. What does it mean to overtake? It means to catch up with and pass. What does it mean to overtake? It means to move ahead in achievement, to beat others, to subdue others, to get past others, to excel, to
to outrun, to leave others behind, to get ahead, to outdistance, to have surplus, to conquer, to outshine. I decree once again, as you shout this loud demon where you are, louder than anyone around you, that you will overtake those ahead of you. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake those more gifted than you. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake those who are more connected than you. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake those that are more intelligent than you. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake your superiors. In the name of Jesus, this is why you must not envy anyone or compare yourself to others. The fact that they are ahead of you today does not mean the story ascended. John the Baptist arrived late, but shook Israel. Your God will do the same thing for you in the name of Jesus. So do not pity yourself. You will overpower the lions in their dens. In the name of Jesus, you will overpower the lions in their dens. In the name of Jesus, you will overpower the lions in their dens. In the name of Jesus, you will overpower the lions in their dens. In the name of Jesus, you will conquer by fire, by force. You will conquer by fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, you will paralyze the wicked in their craftiness. In the name of Jesus, you will paralyze the wicked in their craftiness. In the name of Jesus. Did Elijah with his legs not overtake Ahab who was on a horse? God will certainly restore your wasted years. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake those smarter, richer, and wiser than you. In the name of Jesus, the despised have become the celebrated. The last shall become the first. The servant shall become the master. The poor shall become the performer. The zero shall become the hero. The anonymous and unknown shall become the anointed. No matter how long it takes, your life will surprise your friend and shock your enemies in the name of Jesus. Remember, Esther's story changed within 14 days. The story of blind Bartimaeus changed within hours. After 38 years of affliction, the story of the sick man by the pool of Bethesda changed within hours. Whether Satan likes it or not, whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, your Eastern story must change. Your Eastern story must change. Your Eastern story must change. Your Eastern story must change in the name of Jesus. It took 24 hours for Job's nine months suffering to end. You expected change is coming. You will dominate those that despise you. You will rule over those that ridicule you. You will mesmerize those that confront you. Your life shall prove that the God of Elijah is still on duty. Hallelujah. Your life shall prove that the God of Elijah is still on duty. Hallelujah. Your life shall prove that the God of Elijah is still on duty. Hallelujah. What are the steps to take if you want to key yourself to divine acceleration and you want to overtake your enemies, pursue them and recover what they've stolen? 20 steps, 20 keys and 20 steps. One, become born again. Surrender your life to Jesus. This is not negotiable. Two, never think or speak negatively about yourself anymore because it puts you in disagreement with God. Three, have a divine encounter. Four, let the flesh die in your life. Five, be filled with the Holy Ghost. Six, be a prayer addict. Seven, be a Bible addict. Eight, Engage in purposeful fasting. Nine, wrestle in prayers. Ten, memorize scriptures. Meditate on scriptures. It is important to memorize scriptures. Meditate upon scriptures. Eleven, do not compare yourself to anybody else. You are unique. You are one of a kind. You are an original. Do not settle for being a photocopy. Twelve, Focus on your potentials and not on your limitations. 13. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. 14. Learn to undo criticism. Let it develop instead of discouraging you. Learn to undo criticism. Let it develop you instead of discouraging you. 15. Be persistent and never give up. 16. Choose the right relationships. 17. Discover your destiny.
18. Conquer your fears. 19. Go out of your way to be a blessing to others. 20. Be broken, be humble. And 21. Complete your deliverance. Complete your deliverance. Amen. In case you have listened to this message, you are not born again. Before we start the volcanic prayer for divine acceleration, I would like you to surrender your life to Jesus. I bow down your heads and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, take control of my life as I surrender to you. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children who have surrendered their lives to you in this program. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon their lives. Let them experience the touch and power of Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Time for that prayer of divine acceleration. Shout this loud and clear. I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Power to pursue my enemies to overtake them and recover what they have stolen. Fall upon me now in the name of Jesus. Power to pursue my enemies to overtake them and recover whatever they have stolen. I receive you now in the name of Jesus. I receive you now in the name of Jesus. Power to pursue my pursuers. Overtake them and recover what they have said. Come upon me now. Come upon me now in the name of Jesus. Let that power come upon me now in the name of Jesus. Power to pursue my pursuers. Overtake what they have said and recover it. Come upon me now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say strange things. Reducing my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Strength things reducing my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Strength things reducing my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any strength in my family stealing our joy. Blood of Jesus, wash them off in the name of Jesus. Any strength in our family, still in my joy. Blood of Jesus, wash them off in the name of Jesus. Any strength in my family, still in our joy. Blood of Jesus, wash them off. Blood of Jesus, wash them off in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any strength power, sleeping and waking with me. Oh God, expose and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Any strength power, sleeping and working with me. Oh God, expose and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Every strength power, sleeping and working with me. Oh God, expose and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So power, sir. Assigned to lock me in the room of forgetfulness. Oh God, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Powers are assigned to lock me in the room of forgetfulness. Oh God, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, destroy them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Every curse dragging me away from the solution to my problems. Break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse dragging me away from the solution to my problems. Break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse dragging me away from solution to my problems. Break by fire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every agent of darkness troubling my life. 
be uprooted by disgrace in the name of Jesus. Every agent of darkness troubling my life, be uprooted and disgrace in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted and disgrace in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted and disgrace in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted and disgrace in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every rage of darkness against my life, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Every rage of darkness against my life, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Every rage of darkness against my life, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Every rage of darkness against my life, be silenced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So powers adjusting my life for affliction. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Powers adjusting my life for affliction. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Powers adjusting my life for affliction. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Powers adjusting my life for affliction. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Powers adjusting my life for affliction. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The secret to the strange power troubling my life. Be exposed and terminated in the name of Jesus. The secret of the strange power troubling my life eh? be exposed and be terminated in the name of Jesus. The secret of the strange power troubling my life eh? be exposed and be terminated in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say the battle that my parents left for me to fight. Eh? Oh God, arise and silence them in the name of Jesus. Eh? The battle that my parents left for me to fight. Uh, oh God, arise and silence them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and silence them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every covenant. Uh, creating room for battle in my life. Uh, break away in the name of Jesus. Uh, Every covenant, uh, create room for battles in my life. Uh, break away in the name of Jesus. Uh, every covenant, uh, create room for battles in my life. Uh, break away in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Oh God, arise. The way that did not open for my parents, uh, open the way for me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise the way that did not open for my parents. Open the gate for me in the name of Jesus. Open this for me in the name of Jesus. Open the way for me in the name of Jesus. Open the way for me in the name of Jesus. The way that did not open for my parents. Oh God, arise and open the way for me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let your voice be the loudest as we shout this next prayer. Stubborn power, sir. Assigned to make me a history while I'm still alive. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. Stubborn powers are trying to make me history while I'm still alive. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Strangers that have become kings in the camp of my destiny. Oh God, arise and judge them quickly in the name of Jesus. Strangers that have become kings in the camp of my destiny. Oh God, arise and judge them quickly in the name of Jesus. Strangers that have become kings in the camp of my destiny. Oh God, arise and judge them quickly in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So storm of the Lord. Storm of the law, person I overtake all powers conspiring against my life. In the name of Jesus, some of the Lord person overtake all powers conspiring against my life. In the name of Jesus, some of the Lord person overtake all powers conspiring against my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, Oh God, arise. And scatter every judgment of darkness against my life in the name of Jesus. 
Oh God, arise and scatter every judgment of darkness against my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and scatter every judgment of darkness against my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and scatter every judgment of darkness against my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I'm praying for all those who have joined this church. Right there where you are, receive the power of divine acceleration. Move forward by fire, by power. Move forward by fire, by power. Move forward by fire, by power. Any agent of darkness, I also pull you down. I pull them down in the name of Jesus. After this prayer meeting, you shall have uncommon testimonies. You shall have uncommon breakthroughs. You shall have uncommon testimonies. You shall have uncommon breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, if my life is answering the judgment of the wicked, O oh God, arise and deliver me in the name of Jesus. If my life is answering the judgment of the wicked, O oh God, arise and deliver me in the name of Jesus. If my life is answering the judgment of the wicked, O oh God, arise and deliver me in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and deliver me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So witchcraft battles in my life. Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft battles in my life. Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft battles in my life. Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft battles in my life. Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft battles in my life. Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any covenant that handed me over to wicked elders, break by the blood of Jesus. Any covenant that handed me over to wicked elders, break by the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and say, My God shall bless me. And all the enemies of my financial progress shall be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, my God shall bless me. And all the enemies of, of my financial progress shall be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, my God shall bless me. And all the enemies of my financial progress shall be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say fire of unstoppable progress. Begin to burn in my life and refuse to be quenched. In the name of Jesus, fire of unstoppable progress. Begin to burn in my life and refuse to be quenched. In the name of Jesus, fire of unquenchable progress. Begin to burn in my life and refuse to be quenched. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, anointing to prosper on every side. Fall upon me like rain in the name of Jesus. Anointing to prosper on every side. Fall upon me like rain in the name of Jesus. Anointing to prosper on every side. Fall upon me by rain in the name of Jesus. Anointing to prosper on every side. Fall upon me by, like rain in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thou rag of darkness, covering my financial star, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Thou rag of darkness, covering my financial star, catch fire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Set my head. I enter into the blood of Jesus and be delivered from bewitchment of bad luck in the name of Jesus. My head, I enter into the blood of Jesus and be delivered from the bewitchment of bad luck in the name of Jesus. My head, I enter into the blood of Jesus and be delivered from the bewitchment of bad luck in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thou horn of my glory, be lifted above failure. In the name of Jesus, thou horn of my glory, be lifted above failure in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
three more prayers to pray and pray it with violence and with fire. Generational favor overshadow my destiny in the name of Jesus. Generational favor overshadow my destiny in the name of Jesus. Generational favor overshadow my destiny in the name of Jesus. Generational favor overshadow my destiny in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every unseen evil and chasing vapor away from my life. With that in the name of Jesus. Every unseen evil hand chasing favor away from my life. We die in the name of Jesus. 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 Every unseen evil hand chasing favor away from my life. We die in the name of Jesus. We die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any evil voice crying in my foundation against my favor. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Any evil voice crying in my foundation against my favor. Be silenced by, by the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for your children who have joined this prayer outreach. I pray that every prayer that I pray shall become testimonies. The hand of God will arise and give you divine acceleration. You shall move forward by fire and by power. It is well with you. It is well with your family. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. No evil shall be for you. No plague shall move near your camp. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sing this song loud and clear. What a mighty God we serve. 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 Heaven and earth adore Him, angels bow before Him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore Him. Angels bow before Him. What a mighty God we serve. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. The Lord is able. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. The Lord is able. Pray these prayers with fire and with power. So, horn of my glory. Hear the word of the Lord. Be lifted above failure in the name of Jesus. Horn of my glory. Hear the word of the Lord. Be lifted above failure in the name of Jesus. Horn of my glory. Hear the word of the Lord. Be lifted above failure in the name of Jesus. Horn of my glory. Hear the word of the Lord. Be lifted above failure in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Any blood crying for vengeance upon my life. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. 
any blood uh, crying for vengeance upon my life, uh, be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Uh, any blood uh, crying for vengeance against my life, uh, be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Uh, be silenced by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So my destiny, you cannot enter into the foundational grave. Come out in the name of Jesus. My destiny, you cannot enter into the foundational grave. Come out in the name of Jesus. My destiny, you cannot stay in the foundational grave. Come out in the name of Jesus. My destiny, you, what are you doing in foundational grave? Come out in the name of Jesus. My destiny, what are you doing in foundational grave? Come out in the name of Jesus. My destiny, you cannot stay in foundational grave. Come out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So my inborn glory. Come out of your bondage and break forth. In the name of Jesus, my inborn glory. Come out of your bondage and break forth. In the name of Jesus, my inborn glory. Come out of your bondage and break forth. In the name of Jesus, come out of your bondage and break forth. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so any power calculating the hours of my existence. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Any power calculating the hours of my existence. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any calamity that the devil is bringing my way in the future. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Any calamity that the devil is bringing to my way in the future, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so dark vultures appearing at the edge of my breakthroughs. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Dark vultures uh, appearing at the edge of my breakthroughs. Uh, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, dark vultures uh, appearing at the edge of my breakthrough. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Dark vultures uh, appearing at the edge of my breakthrough. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, O oh God of divine acceleration, visit me by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh God of divine acceleration, visit me by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh God of divine acceleration, visit me by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh God of divine acceleration, visit me by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh God of divine acceleration, visit me by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every curse and bondage of stagnancy be broken in the name of Jesus. Every curse and bondage of stagnancy be broken in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any witchcraft battle against my life, heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft battle against my life, heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft battle against my life, heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft battle against my life, heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to sell me to slavery. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to send me to slavery. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to send me to slavery. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to send me to slavery. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree upon your life, those of you who are on this prayer line, that all the collective evil family gamut that doesn't want people to help you, 
shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. Shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. I decree upon you that the Holy Ghost are clothed with the garment of power to overcome every attack from your father's house. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost are clothed with the garment of power to overcome every attack from your father's house. In the name of Jesus, and I decree by the cry of heaven that every battle that wants to strip you naked shall catch fire, 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 shall catch fire. Every battle that wants to strip you naked shall catch fire, shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. The fire of God shall surround you and shake out all the problems that are surrounding you. In the name of Jesus, the power of God shall surround you and shake out all the problems that are surrounding you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy upon your life that your glory shall receive the dew of God and rejoice. In the name of Jesus, your glory shall receive the dew of God and rejoice. In the name of Jesus, your glory shall receive the dew of God and rejoice in the name of Jesus. Every scourge of tongues against your breakthrough shall cease. In the name of Jesus, every scourge of death against your breakthrough shall cease. In the name of Jesus, and I the clear point that has from today and every day of your life you shall become a disappointment to the enemies in the name of Jesus you shall become a disappointment to the enemies in the name of Jesus and any power that wasted your parents and are looking for you to waste. They shall receive the arrow of death. They shall receive the arrow of death. They shall receive the arrow of death. In the name of Jesus, I declare upon you that anything in your life inviting failure shall catch fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, the Lord God of Jacob shall arise and turn your terrible enemies to your full time slaves. In the name of Jesus, He shall turn your terrible enemies. To your full-time slaves in the name of Jesus and your destiny keys in the coven of wicked elders shall arise and locate you, shall arise and locate you by fire, shall arise and locate you by fire, shall arise and locate you by fire, shall arise and locate you by fire in the name of Jesus and power planning failure for your destiny shall be consumed by fire in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for this program. We thank you for your grace and power upon the life of your children. Father, in a new way, visit all who are connected to this program. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Help them to receive divine speed, divine acceleration, divine speed, divine acceleration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Today we are looking at becoming extraordinary amongst the ordinary. Becoming extraordinary amongst the ordinary. In Genesis chapter 11, Genesis chapter 11, I begin to read from verse 1. Genesis chapter 11, I begin to read from verse 1. And the whole earth was of one language, and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of China, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they are brick for stone, and slime are there for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build up a city and tower, who we'll stop may reach unto heavens. Let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city, and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, this people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. And in Second Corinthians chapter 10, Second Corinthians chapter 10, from verse 3, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But the mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every item that exerts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing to captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Listen carefully, beloved. The head has not heard until the heart has listened. A new heart creates a new life. 
When you have a new heart, it creates for you a new life. Therefore, it's good to carve your name on hearts and not on marbles. The human mind, beloved, is the greatest vagabond in the universe. In fact, as you are listening to me now, some of you might have traveled so far away from what you are listening to. Some minds are like concrete, thoroughly mixed and permanently set. It is unfortunate. There are satanic cobwebs on so many minds, and your brain is only as strong as your thinking. Vacant minds, like vacant lands, become dumping ground for rubbish. What you think means more than anything else in your life. What you think means more than your stature. What you think means more than your salary. What you think means more than your accommodation. What you think means more than what anyone thinks about you. Thinking, not just growing, makes manhood. The man who thinks he knows it all has merely stopped thinking. So what a person thinks greatly determines what it becomes. There are no limitations in what you can do except the limitations in your mind. The Lord said there is nothing in the mind of the people building the Tower of Babel that they have imagined to do that they cannot do, meaning that your thoughts and imaginations are very powerful. If all the things you ever said were written in a book and all your thoughts were on display, so all could take a look and read it. There is not a living soul who will eat angry said and feel ashamed before the Lord and wish that they were dead. You need to pray, O oh Lord, deliver me from evil amateurs. Evil amateurs are thoughts that pound and shatter peace. O oh Lord, deliver me from rat thoughts. Rat thoughts are thoughts that bite without season. O oh Lord, deliver me from vagabond thoughts. Vagabond thoughts are thoughts that are just wandering all over the place and they are impossible to catch. He said, Oh Lord, deliver me from shadow thoughts. These shadow thoughts are the thoughts that dim the light of a new day. Oh Lord, deliver me from serpent thoughts. This one shows that our mind is a garden where thoughts flower grow. The thoughts that we think are seeds that we sow. Your thought is your greatest prison, beloved. A man's life is what his thoughts make it. You become what you allow yourself to think, even when you don't think so. So the essence of every action is a thought. A man had a dream. In the dream, an angel approached him and placed a book in his hand and said, this is a book of your life. He opened page one. The angel said to him, page one contains your evil acts. And you see that there are many. He started to tremble. Page two. So page two contains your evil words. And they are more than your acts. For a man speaks more than he acts. Page three. So it contains your evil thoughts. And they are very many. For a man thinks more than he speaks or acts. And page four was as black as midnight. And then just said, this represents your evil heart. We need to work on our hearts. If your mind is not free from evil influences, you become the property of the devil. If you win a man's mind, you have him. If you capture his thoughts, control him. Satan therefore fights for the mind of men. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3, But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Satan therefore fights for the mind of men. Satan fights for the mind of men to control them. Listen, beloved. Thoughts of abundance will only respond to thoughts of abundance. Thoughts of affluence within is found to be the secret of attraction for affluence, affluence without. The thought is the energy by which the law of attraction is brought into operation. The source of all power and all weaknesses is from within. The reason for success as with failure is from within. You must become an immigration officer at the gate of your mind. You must follow the injunction of scriptures as to what you allow to operate in your mind. Do you want divine acceleration? You want God to move you to the next level? You must take charge of the laboratory of your heart so that your heart 
does not stand against your moving forward. You say, what do I do? Number one, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. Number two, you need to repent from every known sin. Number three, you need to meditate upon the words of God every day. And you need to be a person of prayer and a person of fasting and a person of the word. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. In case you have listened to me in this program and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very quickly now. But I say what I'm going to say after me. Say, so Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life in the name of Jesus. For said I should pray with me, I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for our children who have surrendered their lives to Jesus in this program. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Move them forward in a new way. Do great and marvelous wonders in their body, soul, and spirit. Put all their enemies to shame. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Say powers. Casting my existence. Receive angelic slapper. In the name of Jesus. Powers cursing my existence. Receive angelic slapper. In the name of Jesus. Powers cursing my existence. Receive angelic slapper. In the name of Jesus. Powers cursing my existence. Receive angelic slapper. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so power stealing my garment of joy to replace with the garment of reproach. Receive the arrow of death in the name of Jesus. Power stealing my garment of joy to replace with the garment of reproach. Receive the arrow of death in the name of Jesus. Power stealing my garment of joy to replace with the garment of reproach. Receive the arrow of death in the name of Jesus. Power stealing my garment of joy to replace with the garment of reproach. Receive the arrow of death in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So fire of God. Swallow every strange fire. Threatening my existence in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, swallow every strange fire, threatening my existence. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, swallow every strange fire, threatening my existence. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, swallow every strange fire, threatening my existence. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, fire of God, fire of God, swallow every strange fire, threatening my existence. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So strange fire from strange battles. Sent against me. Kill your owner in the name of Jesus. Strange fire from strange battles. Uh, sent against me. Kill your owner in the name of Jesus. Strange fire from strange battles. Uh, sent against me. Kill your owner in the name of Jesus. Strange fire from strange battles. Uh, sent against me. Kill your owner in the name of Jesus. Kill your owner in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Field of battles. Replacing my field of blessings. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Field of battles. Eh? Replacing my field of blessings. Eh? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Field of battles. Eh? Replacing my field of blessings. Eh? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Field of battles. Eh? Replacing my field of blessings. Eh? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Field of battles. Eh? Replacing my field of blessings. Eh? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Field of battles. Eh? Replacing my field of blessings. Eh? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Field of battles. Eh? Replacing my field of blessings. Eh? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers on assignment. To turn my days of joy to battles. Lion of Judah, tear them to pieces in the name of Jesus. Powers on assignment. To turn my days of joy to days of battles. Lion of Judah, tear them to pieces in the name of Jesus. Powers on assignment. To turn my days of joy to days of battles. Lion of Judah, tear them to pieces in the name of Jesus. Lion of Judah, tear them to pieces in the name of Jesus. Land of Judah, tell them to pieces in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers of darkness uh, assigned to enslave me on my day of glory. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. 
powers of darkness assigned to enslave me on my day of glory. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Powers of darkness assigned to enslave me on my day of glory. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, oh God, arise and rescue my testimonies from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and rescue my testimony, sir, from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and rescue my testimony, sir, from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and rescue my testimony, sir, from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power assigned to waste me. Receive the stones of death in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to waste me, receive the stones of death in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to waste me, receive the stones of death in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to waste me, receive the stones of death in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to waste me, receive the stones of death in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to waste me, receive the stones of death in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to waste me, receive the stones of death in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers are assigned to turn my life to a shadow. Die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Powers are assigned to turn my life to a shadow. Die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Powers are assigned to turn my life to a shadow. Die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Powers are assigned to turn my life to a shadow. Die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Powers are assigned to turn my life to a shadow. Die suddenly in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So powers are assigned to redraw the map of my destiny negatively. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are assigned to redraw the map of my destiny negatively. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are assigned to redraw the map of my destiny negatively. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers are assigned to make me walk out of my promised land. Be defeated in the name of Jesus. Powers are assigned to make me walk out of my promised land. Be defeated. Be defeated. Be defeated in the name of Jesus. Be defeated in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. O oh God, arise and give me power to destroy anything that has destroyed my parents. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and give me power to destroy anything that has destroyed my parents. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and give me power to destroy anything that has destroyed my parents. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, mountains that move my parents out of their promised land. I move you out of my life in the name of Jesus. Mountains, I move my parents out of their promised land. I move you out of my life in the name of Jesus. Mountains, I move my parents out of their promised land. I move you out of my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I receive the power to pursue any that power that pursued my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to pursue any dark powers that pursue my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to pursue any dark powers that pursue my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to pursue any dark powers that pursue my parents. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I receive power to humiliate any power that has humiliated my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive power to humiliate any power that has humiliated my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive power to humiliate any power that has humiliated my parents. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? I crush to powder. Any power that wants to cover my glory. In the name of Jesus, I crush the power. Any power that wants to cover my glory. In the name of Jesus, I crush the powder. Any power that wants to cover my glory. In the name of Jesus, I crush the powder. Powder. Any power that wants to cover my glory. In the name of Jesus, I crush the powder. Any power that wants to cover my glory. In the name of Jesus, I crush the powder. Any power that wants to cover my glory. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Say, powers assigned to claim me on the day of my breakthrough, sir. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to kill me on the day of my breakthrough, sir. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to kill me on the day of my breakthrough, sir. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, battles inside me. Battles outside me. Battles around me expire in the name of Jesus. Battles inside me, battles outside me, battles around me, expire in the name of Jesus, expire in the name of Jesus, expire in the name of Jesus, battles inside me, battles outside me, battles around me, expire in the name of Jesus, expire in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So powers, bringing bitter labor into my life, carry your load and die in the name of Jesus. Powers bringing bitter labor into my life. Carry your load and die in the name of Jesus. Powers bringing bitter labor into my life. Carry your loads and die in the name of Jesus. Carry your loads and die in the name of Jesus. Carry your loads and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, thank you for your children who have joined this prayer outreach. Bakita liyo kato satenda kandiaba. Let your anointing overshadow their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, answer every prayer with testimonies in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are, I want you to pray the prayer of Hannah. Just talk quietly to the Lord. Let your lips move, but talk silent in your heart to the Lord. Bring three prayer requests to the Lord. Something you want the Lord to do before this month runs to an end. Talk to the Lord now. Talk to the Lord now. He's the God that answers by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord God that do let his Zion has answered your prayers by fire in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold amen. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands with one accord. Singing, Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands with one accord. Singing, Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thou art worthy, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasures they are, and were created. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasures they are, and were created. There is none holy as the Lord. There is none beside Him. Neither is there any rock like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. As the Lord. There is none Holy as the Lord. There is none 
beside him. Neither is there any rock like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful is my Savior. Wonderful is my Redeemer. Worthy to be praised. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Wonderful is my Savior. Wonderful is my Redeemer. Worthy to be praised. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Wonderful is my Savior. Wonderful is my Redeemer. Worthy to be praised. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace and power. We thank you for the mightiness of the name of the Lord. We thank you for your name which is above all names. We thank you because the joy of the Lord is our strength and you can move us from strength to strength and from glory to glory. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Today, meet each and every one at the point of their needs. Plug our life into the socket of divine acceleration in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We are looking at, I refuse to be programmed for the bottom. I refuse to be programmed for the bottom. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 13. Deuteronomy 28, 13. And the Lord shall make the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, we shall command thee this day to observe and to do them. The Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. The Lord shall put you above, and thou shalt not be beneath. This is a serious matter. It is what we repeatedly do that determines success or failure in life. That is, one way or the other, we are what we repeatedly do. The bottom is the basement. The bottom is the ground. The bottom is the last. The bottom is the lowest. The bottom is the tail. The bottom is behind. Examine yourself before we start praying. Are you a bad time manager? When a person is suffering from this infirmity of bad time management, they don't know how to handle or manage their time. They don't have a clue where the time went. They allow the time to consume them. The dividing line between success and failure in such cases is five words. I did not have time. If you do not have a plan for managing your life and your time, then you are a victim of everything and everybody around you. Two, when you possess a losing attitude, negative attitude determines the outcome of many situations. You may not be able to do anything about what happens to you, but you can choose your response. The same sun that melts the candle hardens the clay. Don't say, I can't. Number three, when you stop growing, that is, you learn nothing new, you are narrow-minded, growing up in the Lord is different from growing up in Him. You must grow up in Him, not just growing up in the Lord. Four, when you have no purpose in life. Five, when you are unwilling to change. Six, when you are failing in relationships with others. Seven, when you are not willing to pay the price for the top. These seven things will keep a man permanently at the bottom. Bad time management, possessing a losing attitude, lack of growth, you are not learning anything new, you are narrow-minded, you claim to be growing up in the Lord, but you are not growing up in Him. No purpose in life, lack of purpose, hatred of change, relationship failures, not willing to pay the price for the top. In the book of Joshua, chapter 14, from verse 6, Joshua 14, 6, 
Then the children of Israel came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizai said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I only follow the Lord my God. And Moses swore that they saying, Surely the land whereon, whereon thy feet have trod, then shall be thy inheritance and thy children forever, because thou hast only followed the Lord my God. And I behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day four square and five years old. As yet, I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, both to go out and to come in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou addest in that day how the other kings were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be, the Lord will be with me. Then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh and Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, unto this day, because he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. Beloved, it is time for you to depart from the lowland and the valley, and take your mountains. The call today is loud and clear. You must rise up like Caleb and clear away the giants from your mountain. You must issue a quick notice to all foreign inhabitants, strange children, and troublesome occupants. God has no second place for anyone. He has only one place for everyone, the first and the best. It is unfortunate that although God has no second place for anyone, almost the entire humanity lived the second place life. It is on record that the average man develops only 10% of his latent ability. Jesus promises abundant life. So I've come to give life, John 10.10, 10, and to give it more abundantly. And God said his thought towards us are of good and not evil. So God has a good plan for you. Do not settle for less. The child of a king does not feed in the dustbin. When the white of your eyes turn red, like somebody has said, the white of your eyes turn red when life becomes disjointed and disorganized and you feel you cannot go a step further. When trials surround you, when enemies show themselves as friends, when you think all is lost, don't give up. Don't quit. When things go wrong and awire, when the road is rough and tiring, when you try to smile and it looks like hard work, when the funds are low and the depths are high, don't give up, don't quit. You might succeed with another blow. Many strugglers give up at the tip of success. It is when things seem worse, you must not quit. This is an interesting matter, an interesting word spoken by an author. Caleb refused to settle for less than God had for him. Caleb believed when others were crying and saying they were unable, that he was able. When they were all confessing failures, Caleb said, the giants were bred for us. Your giants are bred for you if you will leave the lowland and go to the mountains. At 85, Caleb still wanted his God-given inheritance. Give me this mountain, he said. Give me this mountain. While others were comfortable with signing peace treaty with the enemy, he cried, give me this mountain. Caleb is a contrast to most of us today. Many settle for little. Many embrace less and less. Many say, oh, I'm okay in this low land. Just leave me alone. Let the giants occupy the mountain. Caleb was gunning for a fight at 85. He knows that with God, all things are possible. You too can rise up and drive out your anarchites and inherit your mountains. Beloved, let this message get into your spirit loud and clear. Run away from the lowland. The second place is a loser. The lowland is a loser. Run to your higher ground. 
the key there to the socket of divine acceleration, the key to the socket of divine speed. Do not be satisfied with your present position. God has something better for you. The employer must not continue to be the employee. The bank owner must not continue to be the bank clerk. The controller must not continue to be the controlled. The boss must not continue to be the messenger. The landlord must not continue to be a tenant. The spiritual giant must not continue to be a spiritual illiput. You must seek to excel in whatever you lay your hands upon to do. You must prove to the world that the hosts of heaven are backing you up. Wake up from your spiritual sleep and wear your battle armor. Challenge the giants occupying the mountains in your life. You have a good opportunity to do so today. A lot of believers are afraid to take risks with their money or with their business. I tell you something, beloved. It is risky not to take a risk. What to do is to claim your mountain and occupy it in Jesus' name. You say, how do I get my mountain back? How do I run to my higher ground? This is where you have to listen carefully. Number one, discover and determine your mountain by God's direction. Caleb knew his inheritance. Caleb knew what he was after. A lot of people have not determined any goal for themselves in life. They do not know what they are after. You cannot find until you define. Jesus asked the blind man to explain what he wanted. When he said, half my soul, I mean, Jesus wanted him to be specific. So don't just grab anything that comes. You cannot continue to stumble through life without any aim. Many people don't like where they are, but they've never decided where they want to be. You want to be a preacher? Determine which type. Want to be a tailor? Determine which type. Want to be a businessman? Determine which type. Determine your mountain. You cannot fly in the aircraft before you bought a ticket. Set a destination for yourself. Set high goals for yourself. That's point number one. Point number two, desire and pursue your mountains. Desire and pursue your higher ground. Desire, pursue your mountain, pursue your higher ground. Desire it with rugged desire. All things come through desire. For the woman with the issue of blood, her desire was healing. For Caleb, his desire was to occupy the mountains. Blind Bartimaeus' desire was to see. Anna's desire was to have a child. They all got what they wanted. Vigorously pursue and have a desire to possess your mountain. Christians should be the best students in their classes. Christian students should be 100 times more serious than their colleagues at school. It's a shame for believers to be failing exams and be repeating classes. You have an advantage. You have the Holy Ghost. And you are not distracted by sin. Then you can pray. And the whole of heavenly artillery is behind you. So you cannot fail and should not fail. Point number three. Discipline yourself to get to your mountains. Be violent with your enemies. To be at the top in anything in life requires some level of discipline. Do not entangle yourself with spiritual non-entities. Be serious with fellowship attendance. Be serious with prayer. Be serious with Bible study. Be a good example at work. Work harder than all the unbelievers. Do not begin to jump from one desire to the other. If you do that, this is spiritual indiscipline. 4. Be diligent and determined. Do not fall by the wayside. Refuse to give room to discouragement. Pursue your mountain until you stick your flag of victory on that mountain. Run to the mountain of God's master plan for your life. 5. Drive out trespassers from your mountain. Declare war against giants trying to keep you out and trespassing. Depart from your lowland and move to the higher ground. Today is another great opportunity for you. You must receive anointing to uproot prison doors. You must receive anointing to excel. You must receive anointing to move from where you are to your next level. It's time to rise up from your sleep and take your position. The wealth of the Gentiles cannot come to us when most believers are in tail position. We must cry unto the Lord today. Thou shall be the head and not the tail. Thou shall be the head and not the tail. I have not found a living headless person. The head contains the brain, the nose, the mouth, the tongue, the eyes, the teeth. The head contains the computer that runs the whole body. The head is always on top. Therefore God said you shall be the head and not the tail. The tail is closer to the anus, closer to where we pass out excreta. The tail has no defense. It has no teeth like the mouth has teeth in the mouth. The, the, the head has teeth in the mouth. 
the tent can be cut off without any serious consequence. This is why some people are removed from where they are and no one is regretting their absence. I pray that the hand of God will be upon you mightily in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In case you have listened to this program and you are not born again, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. But I say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that short prayer with me, I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children who have surrendered their lives to you in this program. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Educate their spirit by your power. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm going to pray for you now. And after the prayer, I'm going to ask you to pray. And I want you to pray like fire and like thunder. Pray like a wounded lion. Makita lekaya bosete lekantendaraboa. Balila kase lekaya boshente ribokoponde ketende kelakanda. Manikende raboko sopo lakaya boko shete raboko sanda. Beri boko soponde keye boko shente la kaponde ke raboko ntandaraba. Balike tenda rabo sopole keye boko shete rabosa. Makanda rabo sopole keye bo shende rabasanda. Father, I'm praying for our children who have joined this program. Father, I pray that you are not your power, your glory will overshadow their lives in the name of Jesus. Any good thing the enemy has stolen from anyone, I command them to repossess their possession in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that their lives will be plugged to the socket of divine acceleration. That their lives will be plugged to the socket of divine favor. That their lives will be plugged to the socket of divine speed. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all the curses of Goliath, upon your life uh, shall not stand, shall not stand, shall not stand, shall not stand. All the curses of Goliath uh, upon your life uh, shall not stand, shall not stand, shall not stand, shall not stand. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God that dwelleth in Zion shall arise uh, and block those who want to block you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will block those who want to block you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will block those who want to block you. In the name of Jesus, uh, every battle assigned to knock you down, I knock down that battle now. In the name of Jesus, I knock down the battle now. In the name of Jesus, I knock down the battle now. In the name of Jesus, battles are assigned to hold you down at the wrong place. I command the battles to scatter. In the name of Jesus, I command the battles to scatter in the name of Jesus. Every hand of delay upon your life, I cut them off. 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 Let your email roar like thunder. I cut them off. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus, beginning from today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, your God shall arise and enlarge your coast. In the name of Jesus, beginning from today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, your God shall arise and enlarge your coast. In the name of Jesus, and all those powers assigned to block your best places shall die in the name of Jesus. They shall die in the name of Jesus. All the wicked elders that have refused to sleep to attack you shall die by fire, shall die by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Heavenly Father, as I make this nice prophetic declaration, let there be a tenfold giant amen. And as you say that amen, miracles will begin to happen in your life. I declare upon your life that every enemy of your next level is buried today in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Can you shout this now loud and clear? Arrows of the night come out of my life now in the name of Jesus. Arrows of the night come out of my life now in the name of Jesus. Arrows of the night come out of my life now in the name of Jesus. Arrows of the night come out of my life now in the name of Jesus. Arrows of the night come out of my life now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any power attending any meeting to destroy me, destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. 
Any power attending any meeting to destroy me, destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Any power attending any evil meeting to destroy me, destroy yourself, destroy yourself, destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Destroy yourself, destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any poison I had eaten as a child, come out of my body now in the name of Jesus. Any poison I'd eaten as a child, come out of my body now in the name of Jesus. Any poison I'd eaten as a child, come out of my body now in the name of Jesus. Any poison I'd eaten as a child, come out of my body now in the name of Jesus. Any poison I'd eaten as a child, come out of my body now in the name of Jesus. Come out of my body now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Make this declaration with fire and with power. So my enemies shall mock and disgrace themselves in the name of Jesus, my enemies shall mock and disgrace themselves. In the name of Jesus, my enemies shall mock and disgrace themselves. In the name of Jesus, my enemies shall mock and disgrace themselves. In the name of Jesus, my enemies shall mock and disgrace yourselves and disgrace themselves. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The battle of I shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of I shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of I shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of I shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any evil thing planted into my life by unfriendly friends. Die in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing planted into my life by unfriendly friends. Die in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing planted into my life by unfriendly friends. Die in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing planted into my life by unfriendly friends. Die in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing planted into my life by unfriendly friends. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Make this loud and clear. My destiny shall not die in the womb of battles. By the power in the blood of Jesus, my destiny shall not die in the womb of battles. By the power in the blood of Jesus, my destiny shall not die in the womb of battles. By the power in the blood of Jesus, my destiny shall not die in the womb of battles. By the power in the blood of Jesus, my destiny shall not die in the womb of battles. By the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, O oh God, arise and recover my glory from the sin of my parents. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and, and recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Say, language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Diviners working against me. Run mad in the name of Jesus. Diviners walking against me, run mad in the name of Jesus. Diviners walking against me, run mad in the name of Jesus. Run mad in the name of Jesus. Run mad in the name of Jesus. Diviners walking against me, run mad in the name of Jesus. Run mad in the name of Jesus. Diviners walking against me, run mad in the name of Jesus. Run mad in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any evil power. Praying and fasting against me. Lion of Judah, waste them in the name of Jesus. 
any evil power praying and fasting against me lion of judah waste them in the name of jesus waste them in the name of jesus waste them in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen say mad spirits bearing answers to my prayer i bury you now in the name of jesus Mad spirits uh, bearing answer to my prayers. Uh, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Mad spirits uh, bearing answer to my prayers. Uh, I bury you now. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Uh, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration by the power and the blood of Jesus. I plug myself into the socket of divine acceleration by the power and the blood of Jesus. I plug myself into the socket of divine acceleration by the power and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, I thank you for our children who have joined this program. Let testimonies galore be their lot. Let every move of their enemies become their testimonies. Every prayer you are praying in this program shall become testimonies for you. The Lord shall fasten your prayers unto the evilness and put to shame every enemy of your life. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. No evil shall before you, neither shall any plague move near your camp. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining this program. This is your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Daniel Lukoya. Remember, if the enemy has stolen from you, recovery is by force. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let us share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Boys that roars like thunder. There is an item to address now. And I want to beg you to address it with fire and with power. Address it with fire and with power. It is called the evil call. Reports getting to us on a daily basis now. But people just hear voices calling them. Sometimes they become funny. Sometimes they become insane. Sometimes they just faint. So we need to focus on that now. For the next few minutes, pray like a man or woman from another world. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. And prayers are never wasted. You can bank your prayers bank your prayers. You can stop them before they stop you. It will be a tragedy if you have this opportunity and you don't take it. I'm praying for somebody here. Any strange voice calling you from the coven shall be slapped by the angels of God. In the name of Jesus. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every strange call of darkness Assigned to trap me. Expire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray it. In Jesus' name we pray. I say, woman who needs to pray this one seriously. Call us from the grave. I am not your candidate. Death. in the name of Jesus stand against the evil colors in Jesus name we pray strange calls are signed to kill me back in the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth. Somebody is breaking through. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray strength call I'm trying to steal my joy in the name of Jesus yes Saints, 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 saints. In Jesus' name we pray. Evil come. I'm trying to make me naked. You are a lord. In the name of Jesus. You cannot afford to keep quiet. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I say, sister and the brother who needs to shout this the loudest they can shout. Evil come. I sign to make me mad. Back for in the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth. Makatenda ya bo shende rabo kosotonda. Ribo sotonde ke ya bo sente. In Jesus name we pray. Let your voice draw like thunder as you say, Bank of Darkness. Requesting for my blood. Can I hear the sister shouting it? Sister, is that the best you can do tonight? Brothers, can I hear you shouting this? Before I leave this place, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth. This is not a death to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. You have prayed some very strong prayers. Very, very strong prayers. You, that brother, what are you, that sister? The powers that are calling you in order to make you make terrible mistakes. Whatever covenant you have formed with them is broken now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Sister. That evil cord that has placed an evil crown upon your head. I said the crown ablaze. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One more prayer before you now sit down. Evil call. I'm trying to sacrifice my destiny. Your time is up. Death. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon your people. Educate our spirit by your power. Help us tonight to fight a good warfare. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. 
Tonight, I'm looking at a message I call The Diary of a Deliverance Minister. The Diary of a Deliverance Minister. The Diary of a Deliverance Minister. Jesus came to save, to heal, and to deliver. So deliverance is one of the three cardinal ministries of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible makes us understand in Luke chapter 1, verse 74. Luke 1, 74 is a passage all of us should really memorize and study well. It has explained so many things that many people don't understand. Luke 174. Luke chapter 1, verse 74. That he will grant unto us that we been delivered out of the hands of our enemies my serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our lives loaded passage many lessons to pick from this single two verses going to rush through some of the lessons so that you can know the impact of what the book of Luke is saying here He's telling us that serving God wholeheartedly is impossible without being delivered. He's telling us that serving God without fear is impossible without being delivered. He's telling us that serving God in righteousness is not possible without deliverance. He's telling us that deliverance sets us free enough to serve the Lord. It's a man may have the urge to serve God and he wants to serve God but there are spirits holding him down they tied a rope around his legs to limit him he's telling us that fear has its root in incomplete deliverance he's telling us that that deliverance sets us free to serve God all the days of our life. Not some days, all the days. It's making us to understand that an enemy can block all your attempts to be holy by ensuring that you are not delivered. It's telling us that no complete deliverance, no complete holiness. You can preach holiness till they break. But without deliverance, you won't be able to live a holy life. He's telling us that a caged man cannot live a holy life. He's telling us that you cannot trample an enemy under your feet when the enemy is already inside of you. You can shout as many up, up, Jesus, down, down, Satan. But if the Satan is inside, there is nothing you can do until you chase him out. This passage is telling us that you can go to heaven, Abraham style. You can go to heaven, Lazarus style. Abraham went to heaven as a rich, prosperous man. Lazarus went to heaven as a poor man. He's telling us that holiness and deliverance makes you to possess your possession. He's explaining to us what Jesus meant when we say, indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I'm explaining Luke 1, 74, 75. <laughs> He's telling us that deliverance is God's medicine bottle. And that deliverance is the children's bread. It's for believers. 
is telling us that the enemy you did not defeat may continue to pollute your life. It's telling us that if you do not stop the enemy, the enemy will stop you. It's telling us that you need to clear your bush before you start planting things inside. Then he's telling us too that lack of deliverance can cut short your life. This is a very, very serious matter. Meaning that you can become a spiritual casualty if you handle your deliverance casually. Meaning that if you have eaten and the demon you face is the kind that requires fasting before they go out you may be spiritually injured this is a very serious matter the enemy will not obey you if you have no recognition in heaven and in hellfire the mountain of fire and miracles ministry it's a ministry dedicated, devoted to apostolic signs and wonders. Prayer, deliverance, and the word of God. And because we are like that, the Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry is not an ordinary church. It's a church that is stationed at the war front. When you talk about military, there are different kinds of soldiers. There are some soldiers, all they do is to play music. There are some soldiers, all they do is to march up and down. Some soldiers just guard people to the market and people to wherever they go and come back. But when there is war, it is not all soldiers that are taken to the war front. The ones taken to the war front they are the combatant soldiers. That combatant harm is where mountain of fire belongs. That's how some people don't understand our prayers. They don't understand the way we operate. And because we are combatants, the mountain of fire miracles which has acquired plenty of enemies. Right? Plenty of enemies. A very important personality who was an ambassador was taking his wife to the market. And she found the woman with prayer in and he parked the car and, and he began to cry so daddy why are you crying <laughs> you have joined those people <laughs> you have joined those people these people madam said what is the problem he said the people who are praying die 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 that you have joined them oh, oh, what, what, is, what is this now was crying why the combatant arm of mountain of fire is attacking him the kind of prayer we pray is different and so the enemy is afraid of the prayers and so we have accumulated so many enemies and we as the mountain of fire miracles ministry we don't expect to fire live bullets at the enemy and you think he will fire rubber back at us. As, as, as a matter of fact, if the enemy is not attacking you, then you should check the quality of the prayer you are praying. It means it's not affecting them. But once your prayers begin to affect the enemy, of course, they will fight back. They will fight back. If they are not fighting us back, it means our prayers are not effective. Once you say you are a member of Martin of Fire, a pastor of Martin of Fire, you are different from pastors 
priests from other churches. You are not the kind of person who will say, May the Lord be with you. He makes his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. He will lead you from place to place. May he grant that you will live long in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And they say that to your head when there is witchcraft troubling your, your body and you go home. The enemy will not trouble that priest. Who will trouble the pastor praying those kind of ice cream prayers? But immediately you grab your microphone you say every power. Then the enemy say okay we need to fight this one. So that's going on. So it is expected. When Elijah was around they sent 102 soldiers to him to deal with him. They sent them in batches. But he sent them back. It, it destroys some and sent one group back. But when Elisha, the man with the double portion, this got there, they sent a whole army to go and get him. So the higher the anointing, the higher the level of the battle and warfare. So the more aggressively you pray and ascetic prayers, you will notice reactions. So try and understand that. So the matter of fact is saying what other people are not saying. They are preaching what others don't preach. They're explaining what others don't explain. And this is why we are called a prayer and deliverance full gospel ministry. We have prayed for people here during our prayer sessions at the, at the back. We have seen people under the influence of the power of prayer. The tear of their clothes. One in our corridor press tore off our clothes. Tore off everything. Ran out naked. We had to pursue her and bring her back. She doesn't live in Nigeria. She came from another country to come and do deliverance. We had to struggle and bring her back. I told the woman minister, we gig, wear our clothes, wear clothes for her. She began to beat up the female ministers. It took time to calm her down. When she calmed down, she said, where, where are my clothes? She said, you remove them. Say, huh? What's wrong with me? You see things like that. We've been praying our corridor before. And one lady began to manifest. I'm talking to you about the diary of a deliverance minister. She began to manifest. I was when praying with her, she just walked away from where I was praying. Went straight to one of my staff. I said, You, you, I've been asked to bring you from the water. That one said, I'm not following you. So I've been asked to go and bring you from the water. Those are the kinds of things, the warfare that you see. Hidden things in people's life that they don't know. How is this uh, lady who came for deliverance? From one of the overseas countries. And I asked one of, I asked one of my pastors to pray with her. All of a sudden, 
I stop hearing the voice of the pastor. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. That asked me to step into that room where they were praying. When I got there, she had overpowered the pastor. She's sitting on him and strangulating his neck. The pastor was helpless. He was already turning the white eyes. About to faint. If we didn't get into that room on time, she would have killed that pastor. These are respectable people. They dress well. They use perfume. They buy good, nice clothes. But there is an enemy hidden within. There is no way the enemy is going to be happy with an organization where such people have been delivered. So I had to get in and pray her off the head of the pastor. And we had to try and resuscitate the pastor a little bit. These are strange things. We met a 70 year old woman. S strange problem. Say, Joe, you have to pray for me. At the age of 70, anywhere I go, men younger than my children, they're running after me. Madam, I want to marry you. Madam, be our girlfriend. I said, I said, excuse me, how old did you say you are? Say, I'm 70. And they're running after you. Say, I'm praying that my own children should get married. But they are not getting married, but they are running after me. Can you raise up your right hand where you are? Any strange problem? Assigned to bury my life. Dead. In the name of Jesus. This is not a day to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. I share something now. And it's going to drive us to very serious prayers. That was 1995. Here. That's this auditorium then. And some a building at the back and toilets. A woman brought a daughter here. First class students. He just went blind in the classroom. She's taking her from place to place before bringing her here. But as they faced me that day, the Lord said, Son, she's the enemy. She's the enemy. Okay, no problem. I took mother, daughter. I locked them up inside one of the rooms there. And I gave them one prayer point. Every arrow of the enemy go back to the senders. Every arrow of the enemy go back to the senders. Mother, start praying. Daughter, start praying. I locked them up. They started. Every arrow of the enemy, go back to ascend. Every arrow of the enemy, all of them were shouting on the top of their voices. They were praying. After 10 minutes of prayer, I was only hearing the voice of the daughter. I wasn't hearing the voice of the mother again. By the time we opened the door, daughter can now see. Mother was now blind. The arrow had gone back to the senders. Can you shout this loud and clear? Arrows of domain.
Mystic witchcraft. Long time is up. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree it. You are here for an agenda. You are here for a purpose. But poker terrible so Tunday about. Them we pray. Listen. Perhaps you have been taught that once you are born again, your problems disappear. You don't need to pray anymore. God have mercy on you. If that is what you've been taught, it's like somebody owing house rent. And then you now went to the landlord. Said, Landlord, I'm born again. All things are passed away, including your rent. And all things have become new. The landlord will not listen to you. You are a celebrated joker. And you are kidding yourself. If you imagine that you are automatically cleansed from all the past satanic association, the strange women, the strange men you slept with before you got born again, when you get born again. Salvation does not exempt you from the problems of life. Salvation does not exempt you from the battle of life. It just equips you to fight the battle and to win it. And I'm sorry, I'm very sorry to say this. Until many understand the ministry of conflict, the ministry of deliverance, the ministry of confronting the powers of darkness, they will suffer from the cradle to the grave. Many are in churches and places now where nobody is putting any serious prayer against any dark force. They may suffer from the credit to the grave. Being born again is not the solution to the enemy attacking you, but it gives you the equipment and tools to fight. It is a very serious matter when you begin to misinterpret the Bible. Which says, if any man is in Christ, has become a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. This is a serious business. And you must understand it. The Bible says something in Psalm 38, verse 4. Psalm 38, verse 4. And Psalm 18, verse 17. Psalm 38 verse 4 Psalm 18 verse 17 Psalm 38 verse 4 first For my iniquities are gone over my head As an heavy burden They are too heavy for me And in Psalm 18 verse 17 18 17 he delivered me from my strong enemy. My strong enemy. And from them which hated me. For they were too strong for me. <laughs> so there are some level of very strong oppressions. That people face day and night. This is a very weak world. No wonder the Bible says the whole world lies in wickedness. It's a wicked world. When the problem is on the surface and is lightly rooted, oh, 
can be, can be operated with uh, not without too much effort, without too much prayer effort. But deeply rooted one will require much prayer energy. In fact, in scripture, there were some problems that required the second touch of Jesus. And so, every day, day in, day out, we see these things. And if I begin to describe them to you, you may think they are stories. But it's good to, for me to let you understand. And if God has brought you to Mountain of Fire, Merry Christmas. You did not get here by chance. It means that it's somewhere along your destiny. You need the anointing upon this ministry to make it. I was in New York many years ago. A white woman came with her husband. And she said, Man of God, pray for my husband. He's always wanting to kill himself. He's always talking about suicide. And she said, well, we're just trying. I don't, eventually, maybe we even commit suicide. She said, his great-grandfather committed suicide. His grandfather committed suicide. His own father committed suicide. So, so in our house, we hide knives, forks, and things that are sharp away. I asked, how old is he? You must say he's 37. I was shocked. He looked like a 70 year old man. So I faced him. I said, um, Brother, will you surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? He looked at me and said, you see a politician? He said, politician? Uh, I said, okay. I know where I'm coming from today. So I have to start explaining the gospel to him. And the power in the blood of Jesus to deliver. He surrendered his life to Jesus. It was, it was a very busy program for me. A lot of people were there and I had to see so many people. So I put him in the corner and said, Begin to pray. Begin to pray prayers. He didn't know how to pray the prayer we taught him. We taught him. We taught him prayers of deliverance. So he was praying. He was praying in his own way. All of a sudden, he raised his voice louder, fell on the floor. So I left what I was doing. I went there. I brought him up. He sat down. When he sat down, he looked at me. He gave me a big smile. Smile. And his face had changed. I didn't know he was that handsome. Because he looked like a 70 year old man. I said, so what was happening to you? He said, as I was praying those prayers, I saw the man Jesus who told me about. He stood by me. He opened my head as if you open a can of sardine. He put hand inside and brought out a hanging rope and closed it in back. Said, sir, I don't feel like killing myself anymore. Amen. Amen. Meaning that in that family, immediately they are giving birth to a child. The rope is transferred. There is a hanging rope inside the head. That's deliverance. Do you think the people who put that rope there? will be happy with the person who is commanding the rope to go. They are wicked oppressions. 
there are some people that are suffering for what to call spiritual blockage. They can't sing praises. They can't shout amen to prayers. Worship do not flow in their mouth. No vision. No dream. No prophecies. A blank spiritual. It's a, it's a deliverance case. And you come against, you come across that constantly. Also, you do come across people who are constantly sexually aroused. Ladies walking about on the streets and they know that as they are walking about, somebody is sleeping with them, even while they are wide awake. The enemy has attached them to an insane spirit husband. These are cases we see will be cases of long term pregnancies. Three years, four years. These are cases that we see day by day. We have seen disappearing pregnancies. We've had people hearing strange voices. But in all this, we thank God. The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. And it's another me to preach deliverance to the captives. I'm going to stop my diary here. I continue next week. But you see, if you are here, if you are not born again, deliverance that will not help unless you surrender your life to Jesus. So right there where you are, close your eyes, raise up your right hand, you want to surrender your life to Jesus, and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. To say that prayer with me, the ushers and counselors will be with you. And you can see our contact number on the screen. Rise to your feet now. Obviously, you can see that we're not here to play. We're here for serious business. I want to appeal to those who are hearing me now. That the kind of prayers you want to pray now, if well prayed, will certainly bring you joy. All eyes closed with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? Battles against my sunshine. Can you say that loud? Let that voice be double that volume. Jesus. Bata setele kaya bo shendera basanda. then we pray uh -huh. this is wonderful can you shout this louder than that every problem assigned to disconnect me from my destiny expire in the name of Jesus
Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Angelic army of God. Go to every cover. Recover my virtues. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray a louder amen before we continue our prayers. Amen. Rise to your feet, beloved. Raise up your two hands to the heavenlies. Father, these hands that are raised up let your glory your power your strength your anointing overshadow these hands in the name of Jesus let these hands carry the fire of God let it carry the power of God let it carry the anointing that break at yokes in the name of Jesus if you have any infirmity in any part of your body smite it 21 times and on the head of the infirmity, go back to your senders. Let's go. Do it well, do it well. Father, let your healing power begin to move from person to person. Let your healing power begin to move by the blood of Jesus from person to person. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Check your body now. Put your faith into action. That migraine is gone. That evil swelling in the body is gone. That thing moving about in your body wanting to seize your life is gone. Check your body very well. Check it well. Once you find that your sickness has gone, something you brought there has disappeared. Run quickly to the altar. Don't let the devil put it back. The power of God is moving from the top of the head of somebody over there. To the source of the feet. You came here looking weak. But your blood that has been withdrawn is coming back now. Check, check your body, check your body, check your body. And find a way to the altar very quickly. There are three acidic prayers I want you to pray. Really, really acidic. And pray is with reckless violence. Reckless violence. When I say reckless violence, I mean reckless violence. Powers that says I will die in struggle. Is that the loudest who can shout it? What are you waiting for? Die! In the name of Jesus. Catar, 
Riba sopanda kaya bo shanta. Jesus name we pray sisters I want you to get angry in your spirit as you pray this prayer powers that are finding joy in my crying can you say it loud sisters is that the loudest the sisters can shout it let the brothers rule like thunder. Da! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number three. Pass! Mocking God in my life. Can you shout his love? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. amen. Father, we cover the testimonies of the people here with the blood of Jesus. Affliction will never rise again in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Sit down for a few minutes. Pastor, let us share some of what the Lord has done here tonight before we go. Very quickly. Praise the name of the Lord. In the move of God here tonight, God has restored health of many people. Because he said he is the restorer. Now we are going to listen to a few of the testimonies. What happened to you, ma'am? First, the congregation. I have problem. Your name? My name is Sister Moji. Quickly, ma'am. What happened? I have problem with my eyes. What happened to your eyes? It's always going. Turning. Going up, up and the down. The black, the black on gold. For how long? For about 11 years. 11 years. Then what happened tonight? It's, it has come down, I can see. Praise the name of the Lord. Your name, sir. Praise the Lord. My name is Olorotimi. What has God done in your life tonight? God healed me this, this of, night. Of, uh, the snake is walking out of my body. For how I, long have you been having that it's thing? About six years now. That I've been moving in your o wrist. Over my head and my, and my chest. This evening, this thing was choking me in my chest. Then what happened tonight? As, I, as our father and the Lord is, is decreased in our life, I just begin to smash it. I use my right life to smack my head. And now, what's your condition? All are disappeared. You can confirm that you're okay. Yes, sir. Praise Thank the name Jesus. of the Lord. Amen. Next testifier. Your name, ma'am. My name is Dorothy Dill. What has God done in your life tonight, ma'am? Actually, this my left leg has been aching me over one month now. What are the things that you couldn't do as a result of the ache? I couldn't even walk. I can't even lift up the leg. Even while I was Can you lift it up tonight? Yes, yes. Lift it up. Let them see. I can even bend it. Move forward over there. Lift it up. Down. So you are already healed. Yes, sir. You can confirm that you have been healed. I have 
Praise the name of the Lord. Next testifier. Keep distance, please. Keep distance. Your name. Uh, my name is Steven Lillian. What happened to you tonight? I was I was slapped by my landlord and in the dream. In the dream? Then, yes. You were slapped then, by your landlord. In the dream. Then when you woke up, what happened? A snake-like object started moving in my head. And since then? Since then, my hair, it was as if something blocked my hair. Tonight? Tonight, after the prayers, it is gone. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you. God bless you. Your name, ma'am. What did you experience tonight? For how long? For many years back. Like four years? Yes, and and pain. Okay. But tonight, the pain is disappeared. Praise the name of the Lord. Your name, sir? My name is Matthew Osiris. What happened to you tonight? I normally have sudden fear and shortness you of breath. You said sh shortness sudden, of breath? Yes, shortness of breath. You couldn't breathe sudden, properly? properly then tonight, what happened? What I did you experience? Relief. I felt relief during the prayers. You can breathe very well I now. Breathe, breathe in. Out. In. Out. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, sir. Brethren. The hand of God is still moving in the midst. I'm believing God. The same hand that touched these people will touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that, rise up now. For all this that God has done in our midst. Let us shout seven outstanding hallelujah. Please bring out your mana water now and let your amen roar like thunder. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up our mana water unto you. Let your power flow into it in the name of Jesus. Let this water become the water of healing, the water of deliverance, the water of power, the water of strength, the water of glory, the water of the mightiness of the name of the Lord. Holy Ghost fire overshadow this water. Let it disgrace every plantation of darkness. Anywhere this water enters, pestilence will not have a stay. In the name of Jesus, I soak the water in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. Father, all the prayer requests are answered them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Stretch your two hands towards this altar now. Makate le kayabo shenderaba. Ribo sepia le katenda. Father, the hands, this hands that are stretched forth. Let the power of signs and wonders. The power that breaketh and central yokes. The power that cancels collective captivity. The power that changes destinies. The power that brings uncommon blessings. Fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Grip your head with those two hands now. Father, I'm praying for as many people as are hearing me now and they require power. Power for new beginning. Power for new beginning. Right there where such people are now. By the power that establishes the heaven and the earth. Receive the power for new beginning. In the name of Jesus, receive it, 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 receive it. In the name of Jesus, something is about to happen now. Some spirits are going to jump out of some people immediately and start praying these next prayers. But every yoke of of program delay. The enemy has programmed delay into the works of your hand. 
right there where you are. Let the yoke of delay, the yoke of satanic delay, the yoke of program delay be broken now, 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 let your like be broken now, 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 in the name of Jesus. That demon behind the mysterious loss of money you have. I command that demon to separate from you now. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to count seven from here. The power of God will fall upon 51 persons. And then the yoke of opportunity wasters shall be broken to pieces you may not be able to stand on your feet but don't worry one two three four five six seven it's broken the power is fighting your opportunities Jesus Jesus Makatenda Daribo Sepela Kaya Bakaya Bakasetela Kaya Boshenderaba. As many as are under the sound of my voice, and you are under any form of witchcraft attack, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive it, 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 let your voice roll like thunder. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Tonight is tonight. Be free, be set 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 free. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. See what is happening. Yes. They have been using your children against you. Fire is burning in their camp now. They have issued curses against you. And the curses seem to be working against you. The curses are being broken. They 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 are being broken. In the name of Jesus. Silence now. Silence now. Silence. You, the arrow from the coven. You, the arrows from witchcraft gathering. Listen, you have been hiding for years. And I know you've been hiding for years. You have been tormenting this person. Stealing from this person. Now hear the word of the Lord. It is written. The strangers shall fade away. And they shall be afraid out of their closed places. It is written. That oppression shall be far away. From the people of God. I know you are hiding there. You cannot hide anymore. Come out. Through the mouth. Through the nose. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Something has been taken out from somebody's head over there. Something has been taken out from somebody's chest over there. Yes, you mobile serpents, 
fire is upon you now. You cannot stay there anymore. Jesus. You may put down your head now. Put down your hands now. Put down your hands now. But if you're a student, let your hand remain on your head. I'm going to bind a particular spirit. All the students there, you're going to shout a tenfold amen. I'm beginning to shake your head. I decree by the decree of heaven against the spirit of gradual academic decline. I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Silence now. Thank you, Jesus. Every infirmity program from the coven, every infirmity program by the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, your time is up. Begin to lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Receive that miracle that will shock your doctors. Receive that miracle now. In the name of Jesus. Before you sit down, there are three prayers I want you to pray. Pray it like a man or woman from another world. Pray it without any negotiation. Don't say, I don't understand this prayer. Just pray it. Strange anointing flowing from my parents into my life. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody has broken through with that prayer. Many more people are going to break with this next one. Strange pass. Busting against my moving forward. You are a lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Jesus name we pray satanic mouth saying it shall not be well with me can you shout it with anger shut up and die in the name of Jesus Jesus, then we pray. 
Father, once again, we thank you for another manna water service. And we thank you for your children you have gathered on this line. Your children you have gathered on this program. We we'll give you praise, we we'll give you honor, we we'll give you adoration. Father, I accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands upon us today. Help us to war a good warfare. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless our mercy, God bless you. Last week we began to look at the diary of a deliverance minister. And I began to share with you experiences. And I began to explain to you the strategic position of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry. And why the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry is a place devoted to the revival of apostolic signs and wonders. And why? Because of our strategic position, we will attract all kinds of enemies all over the place. But the beautiful thing is this every move of your enemies, every move of our enemies, are becoming testimonies. You don't believe it? Say, so every move of my enemies shall become my testimonies by the power in the blood of Jesus. Can you say that loud and clear? In Luke chapter 4, verse 17, Jesus was in the synagogue on the Sabbath day and he stood up to read scripture in verse 17 look 4 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah Isaiah is the messianic prophet of all the prophets in the Bible he was the one who spoke about Jesus most Isaiah It is in the book of Isaiah. You find all we like sheep have gone astray. It's in the book of Isaiah. You find he himself bore our infirmities and took away our sicknesses. It's in the book of Isaiah. You find unto us a child is born, the son is given. So in the book of Isaiah, you read, as a sheep led to the slaughter, before his chair he was dumb. So he is now reading from the same book. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. As far back as the book of Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. And like I said last week, deliverance is one of the three cardinal ministries of the Lord Jesus Christ. And anywhere Jesus sent anybody, he always gave them a mandate of deliverance. And I began to look at things we have seen. Many which you find difficult to believe if I begin to tell you. We have seen cases of disappearing pregnancies. We have seen cases of long-term pregnancies. We have seen cases of people carrying heavy loads on their head. You 
cannot see the load, but they feel the load on their head. They just know something is on top of their head. We have seen cases like that. We have seen people with peppery body. They are just the bulb of the body just peppers them. And they don't know what is happening to them. We have seen cases who have explained to us that they were having personal rain falling on them. Personal rain falling on them. We have seen people that they are having some powers throwing sand at them. Meaning that they don't want them alive. They want them dead. So they are already pouring dust upon dust, ash upon ash upon their lives. If you are here tonight or you are listening to me, you are like that. May the violent angels of God gather the personal rain, the sand they are throwing at you and send it back to them sevenfold in the name of Jesus. We have seen people suffering from the rage of satanic birds. These evil birds just follow them about. So people may not see those birds, but they keep seeing them. Birds running after them. Sometimes the birds do not follow them as persons. They come to their compounds. And this happens all over the world. Strange birds pursuing people. And sometimes when prayer starts, the birds flee. They will, they will run away. They will, they will flee from the point of action. I was in Obafemi, Awolawo University at Ife we had a crusade everything was going well but immediately I took the microphone and I climbed the altar those who follow me there will testify to this all of a sudden thousands of blackbirds just swarm towards the crusade ground. There were so many on top that there is, there is darkness below. They shielded the light away from reaching us on the crusade ground. But they made a horrible mistake. They underestimated the fire and the power of the God of Elijah. So before I started thinking or doing anything, so everybody here, point your finger, upsets that by the power of the God of Elijah, receive fire. We have not prayed for more than one few seconds. It, they scattered and ran away to where they came from. Any evil bird sent to your company, any evil bird sent to follow you about, collecting information about you, following you about to destroy your testimony. If you can shout a tenfold amen by the time you leave this place, you will see the corpses of the birds in the name of Jesus. We have seen cases of people being pursued by the sun. They say the sun is running after them. 
You find it strange, but it's true. The sun is pursuing them. They say, can't you see? Can't you see? The sun is pursuing them. We have seen people. The moon is pursuing them. You can't see the, what they are seeing, but the moon is pursuing them. Some of this is now makes us understand what the Bible was talking about. When it says, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The sun can be made to smite a man by day. The moon can be made to smite a man by night. Can you shout this loud and clear upon your life where you are? Every satanic assignment from the evilies against my life. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Kill the assignment. Somebody is breaking through with us, press. This is not a day to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. We have seen cases of disappearing money. Disappearing clothes without being stolen by physical thieves. We've had a case from Canada where a man came from work, tired. I was so tired, he just slept off on his bed with his three piece suit on. But by the time he woke up in the morning, something had undressed him everything took off his clothes took off his clothes completely what kind of strange forces are these but a trouble man but a lot of people they are too embarrassed to say this is what is happening this is what I am going through this is what I'm. This is what is happening. This is what I, what I'm going through. I was reading a story. A girl followed a man home. He didn't know the man too well. Followed the man home. They slept the night. Committed their fornication as usual. But the lady now said, in the middle of the night, she woke up and found herself on the corridor. She slept on the bed with a man. Now she found herself outside the bedroom on the corridor. And he confronted the man. How did that get here? How did I get there? Man now told that the truth. Say the truth is that there is a spirit husband in this family that every man must marry. A spirit wife. That is that spirit wife that threw you out of the bedroom. The, the guy ran and could not wait. I had to go and do seven days dry at a mountain of fire American ministry branch before she could be delivered. When powers are moving somebody from place to place, the bottom line is that those people have no fire. We have things disappearing. We have cases of strange odors in the body. We've had a case like that they got married, but right from the day, 
for wedding, no problem, engagement, no problem, but immediately they got home and started living together. Strange odor. Like toilet was coming from the wife. So the man could not get close to her. The man was running away from her. And nobody else could smell anything. I'm praying for somebody here. Any hidden danger. A cryptic power planted to embarrass you. Shall go back to the centers in the name of Jesus. A sangu for the man. We have seen cases of unexplainable hatred. You have not done anything wrong. They just don't like you. They may first like you when you get there. Now they don't want to see you anymore. It's a deep problem. We have seen people suffering from what we call spiritual kwashioko. Spiritual kwashioko. These are strange, very strange kind of demonic problems. Such people have no desire to attempt any form of spiritual discipline. They don't like spiritual discipline at all. There is a total inability to read the Bible. If they try to pray, immediately they start calling the name of Jesus, they can't talk again. They are in, unable to have communion with the Lord. If they attempt such things, strength is happening. Sometimes their voices are held up. Sometimes they instantly fall asleep. Sometimes all manner of thoughts will be going through their mind, making it impossible to focus. Sometimes they begin to fall sick or develop severe headache. Anytime they try to grow spiritually, there is an aggressive counterattack. It's really a deliverance situation. There are some people that are suffering from what you call dry unbelief. Did they have doubts about God? Did they have doubts about salvation? Did they have doubts about their relationship with God? They are enveloped in despair and discouragement. They avoid the fellowship of believers. They go with backsliders. If they are in a church and there is a fight in that church, they go with the wrong group. If there is a rebellious pastor who is breaking away a church, they are the kind of people who will follow that rebellious pastor so that, so that the suffering of that rebellious pastor too will come upon them. Try unbelief. There are deliverance cases. There are cases of abnormal thoughts. Deep people just think abnormal things. Thoughts that consume the mind. Strange thoughts. About sex. About cruelty. About rape. About death. Tormenting thoughts. Persistent and consistent bombardment of weird and strange thoughts. On, on, on welcome thoughts that we torment for hours. It's like deliverance cases. But 
they will not come out and talk sometimes until it becomes a very big problem. There are those suffering from what you call emotional instability. Their emotional life is easily accessible to the wicked. They have wounds in their heart that are creating demonic invasion. Any small problem, they go into uncontrollable rage. They will have anxiety that will turn into aggression. They will have fear that will turn into terror in their lives. And so Satan now tries to use that emotion to pollute their minds. These are deep deliverance cases. Listen, beloved. The enemy has worked really hard to rip, to harm, to consume, to confuse, to mesmerize, to cage, to demote, and to cheat men. It is your duty to decide that I will not allow myself to be wasted. I will now allow the enemy to measure my let on the ground. I will not allow the enemy to embarrass me or to cheat me. It is a decision you have to take and follow it up with discipline. You follow it up with aggressive discipline. Because we have a wickedly wicked enemy. But thank God we have a good God. We're stopping here tonight. Rise to your feet now. But you see, if you are here tonight, you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very quickly now. But I say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that short prayer with me, the ushers and counselors will be with you. Or you can contact our number on the screen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Rise to your feet, everybody. It is time to pray. To pray what is known as deliverance prayers. This is not a time to joke. This is not a time to take things for granted. Don't take anything for granted. Don't negotiate. These first three prayers will bring uncommon deliverance. Depending on you praying it the way blind Bartimaeus cried his prayer. Waging war against answers to my prayers. Can I hear you shouting this loud? What are you waiting for? Dad! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Santa, Riboko Santa. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers assigned to make me serve my enemies. Somebody ought to get angry as you pray these prayers. Can you shout it loud? You are 
la da in the name of Jesus yes 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 in Jesus name we pray there is something called standing order. It is at a particular time that order must be obeyed. If you have a standing order in the bank, at that particular time, money must be paid out. With a voice that roars like thunder with no compromise. Every satanic standing order. against my life. The, in the name of Jesus. Deal with the standard in the order of the enemy. In Jesus name we pray. A louder amen. amen. Before we continue our prayers, please bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. A good measure, praise and falling over. Let it be our lot in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. You can put your offering in the boxes close to you or use the information on the screen. While we listen to the song ministration. Holy Ghost Revival, Pentecost of Fire, 
Send down revival, Lord. Let it start with my soul. Holy Ghost revival. Pentecost of fire. Send down revival, Lord. Let it start with my soul. Holy Ghost revival. Pentecost of fire. 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 Praise the Lord. A louder hallelujah. Glorious hallelujah. Let's listen to some few announcements. If you worship with us for the first, if you are worshiping with us for the first time today, or you just surrender your life to, to Jesus at this meeting, kindly rise up to your feet for recognition from wherever you are seated. Our counselors and evangelists, they will meet you immediately with decision slips and welcoming packs. And as you fill those forms and submit it back to them, the Lord bless you richly in Jesus' name. Monday Bible studies and prayer quick session at the international headquarters here continue every Monday. The time is 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening. Our Sunday worship services are two services here at the international headquarters. The first service is 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock in the morning. And second service is 10 o'clock to 12 noon. You can only participate in just one service on Sunday. In case you still have testimonies to share with us here, yeah, you kindly drop your written testimonies inside the testimony boxes which are conspicuously placed in the auditorium.
Remember to include your name and your telephone number. The command the morning weekly program at International Headquarters here hold from Monday to Friday every week. The time is 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the morning. All our online services are as follows. Power must change hands for Saturday of every month, 7 o'clock in the morning. Saturday, great physician hours, 9.30 in the evening. And Sunday, ego hour is 7 o'clock in the evening. Monday revival hour is 10.30 in the evening. And Sunday worship service is 7 o'clock in the morning. And Wednesday mana water service just like today is 4.30 in the evening. You can link up for live transmission on MFM TV and all our social medias, Facebook, YouTube channels, Twitter, and uh, Instagram. Please always remember that it is compulsory that you comply with the safety and health protocols and regulations during all our services in the church. That is, you need to wear your face mask, hand washing, hand sanitizing, temperature check, and keeping social distances. And God bless you richly as you observe all this in the name of Jesus. Let's close our eyes and pray this prayer. Shout this one, say power. Can you say it loud and clear? Assigned to suppress my destiny. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Rise to your feet, beloved. Mistakes from my ancestors blocking my glory from shining. Can I hear the sisters shouting it? I'm sure the scissors can do better than that. <laughs> Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? <laughs> Blood of Jesus! Wipe them away! In the name of Jesus! Call on the blood of Jesus! To wipe them away. Something is happening over there. Jesus name we pray arrows in the hands of domestic strong man can you shout it loud 
backfire in the name of Jesus somebody's breaking through that one too thank you Jesus thank you Jesus in Jesus then we pray this thought prayer needs boiling anger that said my glory will not manifest while they are alive can you shout it loud I want you to be more aggressive than that in the name of Jesus Open your mouth and decree it. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As we pray this next prayer, if you belong to any of these two groups, find a way to the altar and pray the way you have never prayed before. If there was a time in your life you had trouble, and you had to sleep at the cemetery. If there was a time in your life too, you had to consult the dead. Find a way to this altar now and pray the way you have never prayed before. Can everybody shout this loud and clear? my glory you are alive in the name of Jesus In Jesus' name we pray. If you have any infirmity in any part of your body, no matter where you are, lay your hands upon that place now. Father, we thank you because it is written. You yourself bore our infirmities and took care of our sicknesses. We thank you because it is written. Unto those who believe in you, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Right there where you are, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. I break every curse of infirmity. I break every power of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, every power that came upon you to make you sick, I bind them and I cast them out in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus, every migraine power, every season of the heart, every yoke in the stomach every power of the oppressor at the backbone 
every poison that is present in your stomach every arrow of the enemy in your legs I bind them and I cast them out in the name of Jesus check your body now begin to do what you could not do before yes that sickness has gone once you find that you have been healed run quickly to this altar now don't let the devil put it back raise your right hand to the devil is too father let his hands carry the fire of God let his hands carry the power of God let his hands carry the glory of God let his hands carry the anointing that breaketh yokes in the name of Jesus smite every sick part of your body shout on them to go back to the senders shout it 21 times let's go do it well yes Yes. 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 Ma kapote se tende kea. Amen. Check your body now. Begin to do what you could not do before. Yes, that is the hand of God coming upon you. Yes. Yes, the hand of God is coming upon you. The power of God has caused his healing power to manifest in your life. Don't let the devil put it back. Run quickly to the altar here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this louder than anyone around you. Can you say this loud and clear? Blood of Jesus! Arise in your fire! Fight for me now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Katenda leka ya boshende rabosa, balika tenda raboso. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you say this loud and clear? Every sacrifice offered to dry up my favor. Can you shout that loud? Shout it again. Back In the name of Jesus. Sacrifice over to dry up my favor. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. amen. Sit down for a few minutes. Let's hear some of what the Lord has done here tonight. As we cover their testimonies with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor, what has the Lord done for some of the people here tonight? Praise the Lord. We have a sister who says she has been having migraine. Oh, talk to them. Talk to them. Praise the Lord. Come over. Your name? 
My name is Igwe Nkechi. Please keep this down, please. My name is Igwe Nkechi. What happened to you tonight, ma? I last day I slept when I woke up from the dream. They fired arrow of my green into my head, and since then I've not been myself. For how long? Since last year, June. Okay. And now it has gone by the glory of God. How did you know that it has gone? I don't. Uh, sleep. Can you shake your head? Shake it properly. Press the name of the Lord. Your name, ma. Please keep distance. My name is Joy. Face the camera. Joy is my name. What happened to you? I came here with painful me menstruation. Yes. For how long have you been having since the painful I've, menstruation? Since I've started. And since? since I started. How many years ago? Over 30 years ago. Then what happened tonight? I didn't feel the pain again after I prayed. So the painful I'm menstruation left. has stopped that you have been having for the past 30 years. Completely left. So tonight you have been totally delivered. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Come over, ma. Your, your name, ma. What happened to you? I've had back arthritis for like five months. And when Dr. Luka was praying, it was, just, it was just flying out of my back. And now I, I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk properly. Demon? Back arthritis, back arthritis, okay. Back arthritis, and my for, bones for how long? For five months. For five months. Five months. Then today, what today happened? Today, everything was just flying out. I now have relief. Before I couldn't walk properly, but now I can walk. I can use can my body. Can you jump now? I can jump. Can, I can you move bend my down? Body. I can bend down. I can do everything. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you. Keep distance, man. Your name. Dada. What happened to you? I normally feel something that was, that will be moving all over my body from my head to my toes. For how but long have you been having that movement? More than four years now. Then tonight, what did you tonight, experience? the administration was going on. I was yearning. I was manifesting. I thank God that God has done it all. How can you prove that all those things have already gone? I wasn't feeling anything when I was coming. Okay. Because when the manifest, man, man, administration was going on, I was yearning, manifesting. Praise I, the name of the Lord. Keep this thing, Your name, sir. Praise the Lord. My name is Solomon. What happened to you tonight, sir? I've been having some shakings in my body since last year when I fell sick. Shaking in your body? Yes. How? Well, it just keeps shaking. I went to the hospital. They said it's nothing, that I'm okay. But I've been feeling it. But as a result of the prayers of our dad in the Lord tonight, I noticed that what it has stopped. What did you experience tonight? I noticed that it has stopped completely. For how long have we been having it? Since last year. Praise the name of the Lord. Your name, ma'am. So what happened to you tonight, ma'am? On Monday when I woke up, I was feeling hotness in all my body. But when I got to the office, I was tested. And it was my body, the temperature was normal. Ever since that Monday till now, when I got to the auditorium this evening, when Daddy Gio said we should pray, I was praying, but still I was still feeling it. When he said... You are feeling what? Hotness in, in me. In your body? Yes. Okay. I was tested this afternoon in the office. It was a normal temperature. I was thinking maybe it's because of the other things, folders I was going through. Then what this happened even tonight? Now, everything just stopped. Even my sweat, every both pains in my body just left. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible recorded that evening time like this, multitude came to Jesus and all of them went home rejoicing because you have come to Jesus, the great physician tonight. If you believe that you are going to go home with your divine healing, 
and testimony. Rise up and shout seven testimony receiving hallelujah. Bring, please bring out your manna water now. Father, we thank you for this water. Let your deliverance power, your healing power, your yoke-breaking power enter into this water in the name of Jesus. Let this water break every yoke of the enemy. Let this water destroy every plantation of darkness. Let this water destroy every yoke of the enemy. Let this water signal the end to any sickness. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God, the power of God flow into this water in the name of Jesus. I sanctify, dedicate and bless this water. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Anointing of ease, anointing of breakthrough. Flow into the water in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And now for those who want the power of God to touch their lives. And now for those who want to move in a new way in the realm of the Spirit. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for another revival hour. We thank you for your grace, your love, your might and power. We thank you for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for your, the mightiness of your name and your power. And we thank you for your name which is above all names. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, we are gathered before you, open our understanding. Lay your hands upon us by the power of the God of Elijah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Today in our revival hour, we are discussing a very huge disease in the body of Christ. Part of what has put everyone into one trouble or the other. And I want you to listen to me very carefully. It's something scripture takes very seriously. But most people don't take it seriously. But it is something that is very painful to the heart of everyone. And I want you to follow this teaching and pray very seriously after the teaching and do some soul searching, heart searching, collecting your life, preparing your ways, making fresh commitments in your work as a Christian. The Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. God has asked me to warn believers to be careful of this invisible load, of this terrible danger, of this terrible character that we need to get rid of. And that character is called hypocrisy. 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 What does this mean? Who is a hypocrite? The word is from the Greek word, meaning an actor. Somebody is acting a part in a play. The act of playing a part on the stage play, that's where the word comes from. When somebody pretends to be what one is not, it's hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is so bad, it is linked with deception, it is linked with falsehood, it is linked with fraud, it is linked with deceit, it is linked with wearing a mask, it is linked with camouflage. Hypocrisy is soon from being more concerned with appearing good before men instead of becoming good through repentance. This is a tragic thing. The inconsistent Christian is one of the devil's best workers. And let me tell you something. You cannot lift others to a level higher than that on which you live. When you are a saint away, but a devil at home, you are classified as a hypocrite. If you fake sincerity, then you can fake anything. Anybody who can fake sincerity 
can fake anything. A hypocrite person will preach by the yard, but practices just by the inch. He will preach in meters, but practice by centimeters. A hypocrite will always know that what he or she is doing is evil. And this is one aspect I want you to understand very well. The hypocrite's life is possible by his ability to hide behind something looking like a good appearance, to wear a mask, to camouflage, to masquerade. There's a lot of masquerading people in church. They masquerade under the police worship. They masquerade under this, the work in the church. They masquerade in so, so many areas. They masquerade as pastors. There's so many masquerades. This is hypocrisy. The irony of it is this. While the hypocrisy is trying to deceive others, he actually ends up deceiving himself. You cannot deceive God. He knows all things. You cannot deceive the devil. He is the master deceiver. At the end of the day, you end up deceiving yourself. It is true that hypocrites can harm others with their deceit. But the real danger to hypocrisy is to the hypocrites themselves. We are always ready to excuse lying, killing, and other trade, and we are to excuse hypocrisy. Whereas hypocrisy is the vice of all vices. Hypocrisy is a person pretending to be pious when the person is not really pious. It's a specially ugly kind of deceitfulness. To live hypocritically means to pretend that you are a practicing Christian, but you are not really a practicing Christian. You are a wolf in sheep clothing. But, beloved, our hypocrisy provokes the wrath of God. There is scarcely any other sin that Jesus threatens to judge so severely as a sin of hypocrisy. Therefore, we have to put all our efforts into being free from the chain of this sin. We must kill it and guard against it. If we allow it to dominate us, that is fire on the mountain is a problem. And this is why I'm bringing this teaching now in this particular period of time. Hypocrisy stems from our being more concerned with appearing good before men instead of becoming good through repentance. And this is a very, very serious matter. Very serious matter. Very serious matter. Plenty of hypocrites in the house of God. Plenty of people practicing hypocrisy in the house of God. Plenty of people saying yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes. You don't know which one they are saying in the house of God. And this is a very, very serious matter. I pray that the Lord will deliver us from hypocrisy in the name of Jesus. What is hypocrisy? Hypocrisy is inconsistent Christian living. You are living as a Christian, but you are living an inconsistent life. Inconsistent Christian living. Hypocrisy is chameleon Christianity. You are pretending to be a Christian, but you are a chameleon Christian. Hypocrisy is when you are living above your experience. What God is not telling you, you said God said. What you did not see, you said you saw. They are living above your experience. Hypocrisy is for the trumpet of your life to be given an uncertain sound. So we don't really know whether you are for God or for, or you are for the devil. Hypocrisy is when you are a wolf in sheep's clothing. Hypocrisy is spiritual cover-up. You are refusing to face the truth about yourself. You are living in denial. Hypocrisy is being a thermometer Christian. You just go up and down, up and down, according to the temperature. Up and down, up and down, according to the temperature. Up and down, up and down, according to the temperature. Hypocrites are clever pretenders. We call them submarine Christians. They go in and out. They go in and out. They go in and out. The Bible calls them unturned cake. They are an unturned cake. The bottom of the cake is burning, but the face looks quite good. An unturned cake. Preaching but not practicing it is hypocrisy. Double tongues is hypocrisy. You see, beloved, 
of all sins. The sin of hypocrisy inspired the anger of Jesus more. Maybe you don't know. Of all sins, the sin of hypocrisy inspired the anger of Jesus more. See how seriously the Bible views this matter. Take your Bible now and go with me to scriptures. See how seriously the Bible views this matter. In Job chapter 8, chapter 8 verse 13, Job 8 13, the Bible says, So are the paths of all that forget God, and the hypocrite's hope shall perish. What a harsh way of describing the hypocrite. In Job chapter 13 verse 16 too, Job 13 16, it says, He also shall be my salvation. For an hypocrite shall not come before him. An hypocrite shall not come before him. These are very serious words. We have to take it very seriously. There is any huge disease in the body of Christ today is hypocrite. In Job chapter 15 verse 34, he said, For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate. Did you hear that? For the congregation of the hypocrites shall be desolate. And fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. And so I feel sorry for all these uh, people in position that are taking bribes. The Bible says, fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribes. In Job chapter 20 verse 5, Job 25, the Bible says that the triumph of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. The joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Now in the New Testament, in Matthew chapter 7, I read from verse 3 to 5. Matthew chapter 7, from verse 3 to 5. And why be honest thou the mood that is in thy brother's heart, but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? Or how will thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mood out of thine eye? And behold, a beam is in thy own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thy own eye. And then shall thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's heart. Hypocrisy. This is Jesus speaking. In Matthew chapter 23, I read from verse 28. I'm telling you the seriousness of the matter. The Bible says, out of the matter of two or three witnesses, the truth shall be established. We have multiple witnesses now, beginning from Old Testament to the current, to the New Testament. Matthew 23, 28 says, even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men. But within you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. It says, woe unto them. He called them hypocrites. 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 And this is a very, very serious matter. When God is calling you hypocrites. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 45. Matthew 24, 45. Who then is the faithful and wise servant? Whom the Lord had made ruler wise also to give them meat in due season. Blessed is the servant whom is Lord when the comments shall find so doing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Blessed is the servant whom the Lord shall find so doing. Again, warning us. Warning us. In Luke chapter 12, verse 1, it says, In the meantime, when they were gathered together, and in the marriage of the people, in some way that they trod one upon another, he began to say to his disciples, First of all, beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. The leaven of the Pharisees is hypocrisy. And in Mark chapter 7, verse 6, Mark chapter 7, verse 6, he says this. He answered and said unto them, Well, at Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, These people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. However, in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandment of men. These are passages in Scripture. In Luke chapter 6, verse 46, Jesus said, Why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? 
And in First Timothy chapter four, verse one. First Timothy chapter four, verse one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the later times some shall depart from the faith, giving it to seducing spirits and doctors of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with hot iron. And finally, in James chapter three, verse seventeen. James three seventeen. So, but the wisdom of God that is from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. I want you to look at the same very well. All form of Christian lukewarmness is hypocrisy. All form of having a form of godliness but denying the power is hypocrisy. Many move close to God with their mouth, but not with their heart. It's a tragedy of our generation. And it's a major reason why we're not seeing revival. Who are the hypocrites in the house of God? I hope you are not one of them. If you are one of them, use this sober moment to repent and change your ways. Who are the hypocrites in the house of God? There are those who are marching to the beat of strange drummers. They like prayer, they like fasting, they like listening to the word of God, but they hate the discipline. They don't like to be disciplined. They follow their own opinion when it comes to being disciplined. They have set ideas about things, and they are not ready to yield to what the Holy Ghost is saying. They listen to the world, and they ignore God's commandment. These are hypocrites in the house of God. And there are many of them diluting the temperature of the things of God and causing lukewarmness. Those who pretend to have their lives a little more together than it really is, they pretend as if their life is really together, whereas it's all scattered. They are all sinners in secret. They are hypocrites. Those who are very clever at cover-ups, they speak half-truth. They play church politics. They are hypocrites. Those who go into a lot of trouble to patch up their spiritual lives before men, they are hypocrites. You just finish slapping your wife and slapping your children, using curses, but you are the same person on the pulpit again preaching. You are the same person singing. Hypocrites in the house of God are those who hide in the most popular hideouts in the church. They just hide. They prefer committee meetings. They are committee members who are not committed. And a lot of people like this just hide under that, not interested in holiness, not interested in growth, but interested in belonging to one group or the other, committee members. Let's digress a little bit. Why are committees appointed? One, better decisions are made by groups of people because they will make better decisions because they pull their wisdom together. Two, Committees are appointed because it has always been done that way. Three, committees are appointed to accomplish a lot of work. Four, committees are appointed because more ideas are contributed. When you have committees, more ideas are contributed. But Jesus will not spend much time in the average church committee meeting. If you have never sat down to ask yourself these questions, why am I here in this meeting? What is the function of this meeting? Apart from reading the minutes of the last meeting, what else do we do here? Is it really God's work that I'm doing? Or could it be that this meeting could just be held when it is necessary? Don't you waste a lot of time here? Could it be mad with something else? A lot of people love wasting a lot of time at committee meetings. Instead of spending time to repair their spiritual lives. Those who love wasting time in those meetings, they're just hypocrites. Children of God should not be interested in dead meetings and useless committees. And this is a serious matter. Very, very serious matter. Sometimes the committees are a place for people to show up their wisdom. Hypocrites like very useless meetings. Some will not come for the service itself, but will come late just to attend a committee meeting. The truth is that sometimes better decisions don't often come from a committee, especially if they are all foolish or the right voice is overruled by the majority. 
So I want you to examine your life very well and evaluate the usefulness of what you've been doing. Hypocrites get very busy because sometimes there are problems in the home which they are too proud to solve. They don't want to go home to confront the wife. They don't want to solve the problems. My husband is too big to say sorry. My dad is too pompous to say sorry. Hours and hours are spent roaming about instead of taking the bull by the arm. Hypocrites in the house of God. A preacher comes forward. He says, I want 10 people to place 1,000 naira here on the altar for miraculous flow of abundance. Two people, two Pokemon. Then he said, Don't save the Lord. There are still eight people. The Lord said, Don't save me. Don't disobey me. Come out right now. The other eight came out. The first two that came out, they are show business givers. Show business givers. The last eight that came out, they are first class hypocrites. Why did they wait till after the so called prophecy before they come jumping out? To now give the offering. Hypocrites will always seek after church posts. Putting hypocrites in an important position is like decorating a dead tree. Hypocrites always pretend to be more serious than they are internally. They pretend to be what they are not. Hypocrites are clever actors. They are experts at shedding crocodile tears even when they know that they are wrong. They start crying, they keep shedding tears. They pretend to be sick. When there is hard work, they put up sympathetic acts to invite pity. Very, very clever actors. And hypocrisy has led so many things. Hypocrites act like Christians instead of being Christians. It is hypocrisy to act sadness when you are not sad. When something bad happens to someone you do not like so much, you cry and say sorry. Whereas then you don't really feel sorry for the person. One man of God has said something very interesting. He said, the human race is an assembly of people who are counterfeiting happiness. People sing and smile on the outside, but the stomach is rebelling inside. People laugh on the outside, but crying in the inside. This produces what the Bible calls the root of bitterness. With time, it goes into trouble. The hypocritical Christian is one of the devil's best workers. A beautiful and handsome face can sometimes cover a crooked mind. It's dangerous for you to be casting the devil openly and then serving him secretly. The most dangerous people are those who do not agree with you and are too cowardly to let you know. They don't agree, but they are too cowardly to let you know. It is a serious matter. Hypocrisy is a great danger. And a great destroyer that dilutes blessings and offers very great assistance to the devil. It offers a special place in hellfire. This is a sealer of blessings. It causes failure at the place of success. The scripture is not very kind with the way it deals with hypocrisy. And we should be very serious with it. Hypocrisy is when you do not talk to yourself. Hypocrisy is when Satan is laughing at your Christianity. Man is the only animal <laughs> that can remain in friendly terms with the victims he intends to eat. Man is the only animal that does that. Remain in friendly terms with the victim that he wants to eat. I know a man who murdered both parents and was pleading for mercy on the ground that he was now an orphan. That's hypocrisy. When you're telling lies with sincerity, you have a dark side about you that nobody can see but you know. You are treating your own faults leniently. You are conforming to the values and expectations of somebody else. You are living in deliberate deception. You are bound to the idols of other people's values, which are not really your own values. You should be told that you are practicing hypocrisy and that it will end that revival in your life. You are just and you accommodate your appearance to what people think of you. Your appearance does not really match your reality. If you continue like this, it is a major roadblock 
in your journey to holiness. You are trying to play religious games. It will not satisfy heaven. You are trying to please God through action rather than through your heart. It will not satisfy heaven. You are taking your relationship with God for granted. You are play acting before God. You pay more attention to your reputation than, than to your character. And you like to display for men to see who you are or what you can do. You like to display that you are the best at what you are doing. It is hypocrisy. You have pretended motives. Your hands are witnessing against your lips. It is hypocrisy. You do things to be seen of men. It is hypocrisy. You practice religion which is far away from God. It is hypocrisy. And these are things that we should address, particularly in this hour where we find ourselves, in this period of sober reflection, of corrective actions, and so on and so forth. Are you listening to me? Do you judge others by human standards like the Pharisees? Do you look on the outside and ignore your insight? Do you substitute minors for majors? Do you fear men? Do you speak language that is different from what is in your heart? Do you give to the poor to be recognized by others? Do you pray in public to be recognized by others? Are you the kind of person who will let everybody know you are fasting because you want to prove that you are spiritual? These are signs of hypocrisy. And everyone is very angry. And it's part of what is causing the issue that we are in now. When you live one way in private, another in public, you are practicing hypocrisy. You are sent outside the devil at home, you are practicing the hypocrites. So God tell us the truth. It is better to be a sinner than to be a hypocrite. A caring better than you are is annoying heaven and is going to do you no good as far as your spiritual life is concerned. Hypocrisy is like a pin. It is pointed in one direction, yet it is headed to another direction. Like I said before, the inconsistent Christian is the devil best worker. You must make up your mind that in this solemn time, this solemn time, you want to be what God wants you to be. You want to correct your life. You want to stop enjoying flattery. You want to understand that if every man was blind, deaf, and dumb, you will not behave the way you are behaving. God is calling for repentance now. He's calling for people to change their ways and to have from the school of hypocrisy, from the school of trying to please men, from the school of measuring yourself by yourself, from the school of trying to be what you are not. From instead of committing sin when you are far from home and pretending when people will see you. It's a dangerous thing for the curses issued against hypocrisy to take charge of your life. Therefore, right there where you are, bow down your heads and talk to the Lord. Say, I repent from every form of hypocrisy. Father, let your power overshadow me. Let my life be revived by your power. And for the of hypocrisy, I confess it to the Lord in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, thank you for this word which you have sent to your children. I pray, O oh Lord, that it will ignite a revival in the souls of your people. That the spirit of hypocrisy, which is the spirit of the Pharisee, will depart from every life in the name of Jesus. And our lives will be a testimony to the glory of the name of the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Any power assigned to provoke me to sorrow, die in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to provoke me to sorrow, die in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to provoke me to sorrow, die in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to provoke me to sorrow, die in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to provoke me to sorrow, 
that in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Any power assigned to turn my seat of glory to seat of battle, scatter in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to turn my seat of glory to seat of battle, scatter in the name of Jesus, scatter in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to turn my seat of glory to seat of battle, scatter in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every covenant of the wicked elders that have stolen my glory break in the name of Jesus. Every covenant of the wicked elders that have stolen my glory break in the name of Jesus. Every covenant of the wicked elders that have stolen my glory Break in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your children who have joined this prayer. I thank you because it is by your grace that they have joined us. I thank you, Lord, because there is nothing beyond your wonder-working power. And I thank you because your hand is the hand of fire and power. I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says, Unto you shall the garden of the people be. O thou that hearest prayer, unto you shall the garden of the people be. You are a God that answereth prayer. Makapota lekaya bushanda. Therefore, O oh Lord, concerning every soul joining on this particular prayer line, let them be candidates of uncommon testimonies in the name of Jesus. I cast every work of darkness in any life joining this prayer line. I cast that work of darkness to dry to the roots in the name of Jesus. To dry to the roots in the name of Jesus. To dry to the roots in the name of Jesus. To dry to the roots in the name of Jesus. To dry to the roots in the name of Jesus. To dry to the roots in the name of Jesus. To dry to the roots in the name of Jesus. I decree that every battle assigned to move you from one crisis to the other must be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, that any family battle any generational battle assigned to swallow anyone on this prayer outreach die in the name of Jesus. I decree by decree of heavens that all those wild enemies on assignment to destroy you shall destroy themselves, 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 shall destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. And every hand of darkness shaking away your blessings I command those hands of darkness to catch fire in the name of Jesus. I command those hands of darkness to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough as you join us on this prayer line. Let every blockage be shaken away. Let every evil handwriting be wiped off by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I want you to pray these prayers with fire and with power. Can you say this loud and clear? Songs of darkness chasing away my joy be silenced in the name of Jesus. Songs of darkness chasing away my joy be silenced in the name of Jesus. Songs of darkness chasing away my joy be silenced in the name of Jesus. Songs of darkness chasing away my joy be silenced in the name of Jesus. Songs of darkness. Chasing away my joy, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Songs of darkness, chasing away my joy, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Songs of darkness, chasing away my joy, be silenced in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this loud and clear too? Make sure your voice is the loudest around where you are. Say, 
every agenda of darkness to kill my glory die by fire in the name of Jesus every agenda of darkness to kill my glory die by fire in the name of Jesus every agenda of darkness to kill my glory die by fire in the name of Jesus every agenda of darkness to kill my glory die by fire in the name of Jesus die by fire in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen so every power targeting me for spiritual termination be terminated in the name of Jesus every power targeting me for spiritual termination be terminated in the name of Jesus 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 in Jesus name we pray amen Father, I'm praying for these two persons on this line that the enemy has vowed to kill right there where you are. Pursue your pursuers in the name of Jesus. You shall not die but live to declare the works of Christ in the name of Jesus. I also decree that any swelling in the body, either in the breast, either in the womb, either in the in any organ of the body, I command the swelling to be punctured by the power of God. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Every chronic arthritis, every internal rottenness, be healed in the name of Jesus. I speak against cancers. I speak against every good plantation in the body. I command them to disappear. In the name of Jesus. For it is written that as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Get out of your close places now. In the name of Jesus. Get out of those close places now. In the name of Jesus. Get out of those close places now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Every evil medical reporter assigned to torment and to harass this person over there let the medical report become testimonies in the name of jesus 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 as many people as are going through career business stagnancy receive your deliverance receive your deliverance every career business stagnancy receive your deliverance from these powers in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, thou power of academic blockage, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are most warmly welcome to this second edition of Deliverance of the Blood. The Lord God will touch you mightily as we deal with this deep and important topic. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 8, it reads, And there are three that bear witness in earth, the spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree in one. The blood is one of the most mysterious things created by God. God spoke other things unto being, but created man with his own hands. Psalm 139, verse 14, God breathed some of his life into man. That life is held in the blood. Man is more wonderful than the angels. They have no flesh and blood. So the life in the blood was imparted when God breathed into his nostrils. So blood is a living liquid. Blood is alive. That blood is the source of life. The human life is trapped in the blood. The Bible says so in Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11 and 14. Look at Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11 and 14. Leviticus 17, verse 11 says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I will give it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. And this is a very, very serious matter. In verse 14 it says, For it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I say unto the children of Israel, 
You shall eat the blood of no man of flesh, for the life of all flesh is in the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. So blood is a living liquid. Blood is alive. Blood is a carrier of oxygen from the lungs to all parts of the body. Blood conveys digestive food substances to various parts of the body. Blood helps the maintenance of a constant body temperature. Blood helps in the excreting waste material from the body. It's an agent of purification. Blood helps to maintain the water content of the body. Blood acts as security patrol. Therefore, once your blood is polluted, your life is polluted. Blood constantly supplies the body with strength to continue. Therefore, beloved, the blood is the source of life. The very life of God breathing into man is located in the blood, and the blood is the container of that life. Human life is trapped in the blood, and the blood has a voice. Blood is very powerful. The nine plagues of Egypt did not make Pharaoh to bow until blood was shed. Blood brought great deliverance. That's why I decree that every spiritual failure in your life, they must let you go in the name of Jesus. There is a measure of power that flows when blood flows, whether it is human or animal blood. This is why people use the blood of animals in sacrifices and rituals. The blood of animals and human beings can produce power and cause problems. Anytime God sees the blood, he reacts. And also anytime demons or evil spirits or Lucifer himself sees blood, there is always a reaction. Blood attracts spirits. Blood has spiritual magnetic pull. Whenever blood is being shed, spirits converge. This is why altars are places of trafficking of spirits. This is a very serious matter. Look at Second Kings. Second Kings chapter 3, verse 26. Second Kings 3, 26. And when the king of Moab saw that the battle was too sore for him, he took with him 700 men that drew swords to break through, even unto the king of Edom, but they could not. Then what did he do? Then he took his eldest son that should have reigned in his stead, and offered him for burnt offering upon the wall. And there was great indignation against Israel, and they departed for him and returned to their own land. This is a very deep passage. He offered his sons. As he offered his sons, some forces were let loose. The Israelites were no longer able to capture that city. This demonstrates the awesome power and the efficacy of a shed blood. So invocation of blood set into motion potent supernatural forces. From this one, some hard facts emerge from what we have discussed so far. There are a group of satanic agents known as blood fighters. They exploit the power in the blood in their wicked agenda. They carry out blood rituals with other human beings. They use sacrifices as a weapon of war. They invoke blood against others. They work in conjunction with eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. They inject sicknesses in the dream. They show red colors, causing trouble later in the dream. They patronize all kinds of evil spirits. They utilize the speaking capacity of the blood to destroy. They discover any evil speaking blood in the family line and strengthen them. They work in conjunction with the spirit of Molech, that is abortion and children's sacrifices. They use blood to enter into evil covenants in order to possess magical powers to exercise evil powers, to bring evil upon enemies, to receive and access supernatural powers. They fight. They are called blood fighters. If you have been in attack, if your blood is under attack by these blood fighters, you will notice horrible dreams, particularly of death, unexplainable demotion, bad health, evil summon, confusion, unpardonable errors, arrows of miscarriage, multiple surgery operations, smell of death, all around the suffering and frustrations, chains of family death, sexual confusion, block breakthroughs, inability to grow spiritually, business failures, repeated examination failures in spite of good preparations and answers, circulating serpents, unseen fire burning the body, marital failure, constant loss of money, Business failures, constant sickness, financial abortions, failure at the age of miracles, wrong marriages, horrible nightmares, demonic dreams, chronic loss, confusion, loneliness, spiritual sadness and scorpion moving about in the body, strange voices and unreasonable moods, constant attacks, unruly, unhealthy children. These are symptoms of fighters of blood. 
those who fight the blood. I pray that every blood under attack will be released and will be set free by the power in the blood of Jesus. You need to learn how to discern when you're under these attacks. You need to learn how to set yourself free. You need to learn how to declare war against all blood fighters. God bless you in Jesus' name. In case you are in this program, you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus, you have an opportunity to do so now by saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Meet each and everyone at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, outstanding things in their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I thank God for those of you who surrender their life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I will guess with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, kindly send your name, your address, your telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen. And we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Say this after me loud and clear. Say, blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Dry up every evil plantation used against my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I render every evil power militating against my health impotent by the blood of Jesus. I render every evil power militating against my health impotent by the blood of Jesus. I render every evil power militating against my health impotent by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, let the blood of Jesus Minister defeat to every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus minister defeat to every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus minister defeat to every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus minister defeat to every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus minister defeat to every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus minister defeat to every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let the blood of Jesus bring down to nothing every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus bring down to nothing every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus bring down to nothing every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus bring down to nothing every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus bring down to nothing every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus bring down to nothing every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
I bind the strong man, assigned against my blood. In the name of Jesus, I bind the strong man, assigned against my blood. In the name of Jesus, I bind the strong man, assigned against my blood. In the name of Jesus, I bind the strong man, assigned against my blood. In the name of Jesus, I bind the strong man, assigned against my blood. In the name of Jesus, I bind the strong man, assigned against my blood. In the name of Jesus, I bind the strong man, assigned against my blood. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. My blood, receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my blood, receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my blood, receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my blood, receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my blood, receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my blood, receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my blood, receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my blood, receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, incubate my blood. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so every evil access to my blood expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood. Expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood. Expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood. Expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood. Expire in the name of Jesus. Every evil access to my blood. Expire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so evil ancestral documents in my blood. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Evil access to documents in my blood. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Evil access to documents in my blood. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Evil access to documents in my blood. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The next three prayers you will pray with fire, with power, and with holy anger. So, blood of Jesus, silence every blood crying against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence every blood crying against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence every blood crying against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence every blood crying against my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So evil voices from my blood. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood. 
Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, blood of Jesus. Paralyze every inherited demons in my body. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Paralyze every inherited demons in my body. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Paralyze every inherited demons in my body. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Paralyze every inherited demons in my body. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Paralyze every inherited demons in my body. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Paralyze every inherited demons in my body. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Paralyze every inherited demons in my body. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Paralyze every inherited demons in my body. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Paralyze every inherited demons in my body. In the name of Jesus. Paralyze every inherited demon in my body. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so every evil power of my father's house in my blood die in the name of Jesus. Every evil power of my father's house in my blood die in the name of Jesus. 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 Every evil power of my father's house in my blood die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The blood of Jesus terminate every satanic operation in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus terminate every satanic operation in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus terminate every satanic operation in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus terminate every satanic operation in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus terminate every satanic operation in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus terminate every satanic operation in my blood. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for your children who have gathered on this prayer outreach. Every arrow fire into the blood of anyone here. Let the arrows go back to the senders in the name of Jesus. Every pollution of blood working against anyone here. Let the blood of Jesus clean them up. Clean the pollution up. Clean up the pollution. Clean up the pollution. Let the blood of Jesus clean up that pollution. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil infiltration into any blood be removed. 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 Be removed, be removed, be removed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You need to pray these prayers very quickly before this program closes. Pray it with fire and with power. Serpent and scorpions are signed against my blood. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Serpents and scorpions are signed against my blood. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Serpents and scorpions are signed against my blood. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Serpents and scorpions are signed against my blood. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The powers are signed to put me on the sick bed. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to put me on the sick bed. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to put me on the sick bed. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. 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 Powers are signed to put me on the sick bed. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Witchcraft battles assigned to swallow me up. Swallow your own ass in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft battles assigned to swallow me up. Swallow your own ass in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft battles assigned to swallow me up. Swallow your own ass. Swallow your own ass. Swallow your own ass. Swallow your own ass in the name of Jesus. Swallow your own ass in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Father, I thank you once again for your children on this line. It is well with them in the name of Jesus. Every prayer you have prayed today shall become testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. An hour for those who are bent on making heaven. An hour for those who are bent on having the spirit of revival overshadowing their lives. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bow down your heads and let us pray. Father, we thank you for a time like this before you. We thank you for what you have been doing during the revival hour. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. Father, I accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, at this particular edition of the revival hour, lay your hands upon all the participants. Speak to us. Speak to our hearts. Do great, marvelous, wondrous things. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 The power of separation. The power of separation. In Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. It says, Wherefore, come out from among them. And be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. You separate, and he receives you. You separate, and he will receive you. So come out from among them, and be ye separate said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, then he will receive us. The reverse is also true. If you do not separate, if you keep touching the unclean thing, he will not receive you. May that power fall upon us in the name of Jesus. In Revelation 18, 4, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of our my people, that ye be not partakers of our sins that he received not of our plagues. Come out of our, my people, he said, that he be not partakers of our sins, and that he receive not our plagues. Listen very carefully, beloved. When we surrender our life to the Lord Jesus Christ, and we become Christians, we are no longer part of this world. We are from a different place. We cannot live for God and live for the devil at the same time. We cannot live for God and also live like the world at the same time. Anything that draws us away from Christ is to be taken as an enemy. Anything that draws us away from Christ should be taken as an enemy. Anything that draws us to the world is something we should separate from. We are expected to talk differently, we're expected to dress differently. We're expected to behave differently. We're expected to act differently. We're peculiar people. We are to separate from sinful companions and separate from sinful occupations and separate from sinful places and separate from sinful practices and separate from sinful associations and separate from sinful relationships. Look at what the Bible says. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 to 18, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? 
For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. So wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. This is a serious scripture which you must bear in mind. Also, if you look at Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 40, Acts 2, 40, ask this to say, And with many other words did he testify, and exhort, saying, Save yourself from this untoward generation. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Those belonging to Christ, must refrain from intimate associations with the ungodly. Those belonging to Christ must separate themselves from any intimate association with the ungodly. We are forbidden by scripture to enter into alliances with the ungodly. The days in which we live, unfortunately, is marked with a lot of compromise. But in each dispensation, no matter the compromise of that dispensation, in this dispensation, no matter the compromise of that dispensation, there's a cry to be separate. God is calling believers to separate themselves. When we disregard these commandments to separate, we're looking for trouble. And disregard of these commandments is the one largely responsible for our powerlessness. This commandment applies to every phase of our lives and every department of our lives individually and corporately, whether it's religious, whether it's domestic, whether it's social, whether it's commercial, whether it's business, whether it's relationship, we are to separate ourselves. No one can be a proper follower of Christ who is in any way yoked with God's enemies. And no matter how hard you try, you cannot bless whom God has cursed. So joining somebody whom God has cursed cannot be a source of blessing to you. The disastrous and tragic history of Samson, Solomon, and Ahab in the Bible is due to unholy alliances. Unholy alliances through wedlock. Unholy alliances through joining up with the enemies of God. Disobedience of this simple command has wrecked many Christian testimonies and has pierced them with so many sorrows when they disobey this. We are not of the world. The Bible makes it clear. We are not of the world. Even Jesus said, you are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. That's the word of Jesus, that you are not of the world. Even as I am not of the world, does not seem to have registered with so many Christians. By biblical separation, refers to separating ourselves from the simple things of this world. My biblical separation is not fellowshipping or having close connections with immoral and ungodly people. My biblical separation is avoiding anything that will make you appear to be involved in or approve any immoral or ungodly activity. My biblical separation is being in the world, but not of the world. Be ye separate. The scripture cries out. Separation is God's commandment to those who want his deliverance, to those who want to move forward, to those who want to change their camp to the camp of victory. It is a commandment of heaven. Separation is very powerful. It will give birth to revelation. There are several things that separation does for you as a believer. As a believer, when you separate yourself, number one, it will lead to personal spiritual revival. When you separate yourself, it leads to personal spiritual revival. Become revived inside of you when you separate. Number two, when you separate, it gives you power to obtain divine acceleration. You have power to obtain divine acceleration when you separate. Number three, when you separate, it gives you power to be in a position to receive divine approval. Number four, when you separate, you key yourself into the power of divine encounter. Separation will bring visitation 
of heavens to you. That's what happened to Moses. Moses was separated, he got decision from heaven. Jacob was separated, he got decision from heaven. Abraham was separated, he became the man with uncommon blessings. So separation gives you unforgettable encounter. Number five, separation helps you to reposition your destiny. When you are able to separate, you reposition your destiny. Number six, separation makes you to have a clear vision, a clear vision of your life and where you are going. Number seven, separation makes you to engage in self-discovery or self-rediscovery. Separation, that's what it does to you. Number eight, separation deepens your thoughts. You become a good thinker, a spiritual thinker, not just ordinary thinker. Number nine, separation will lead to destiny transformation. Just like the separation when Jacob was alone, he was transformed from Jacob to Israel because he separated. Separation will give you that destiny transformation. And then, last but not least, separation will make you to have a mandate renewal. God renews your mandate. God tells you what to do. God will sharpen your sword. Separation. Separation will cause you to be a friend of God closely and to place you in the arena of divine revelation. This is a very serious situation. And all believers must take the issue of separation seriously. I so much compromises this and is getting worse. And we must take this opportunity to examine ourselves, examine our Christian life, and root out areas where we are connected to the world in an ungodly manner. If we begin to live the correct Christian life, if our lives begin to showcase what God wants to showcase, men and women will be crowded into our buildings. They will come rushing, they will be asking us, what is the secret of this? What shall we do? What shall we do? They come rushing into, into our compound. If we are living the kind of life God wants us to live. God is calling us to a place of separation. Separation is necessary for enlightenment. It's to prepare us for a task. In Genesis chapter 12, we read about Abraham. Abraham was asked to separate, to get away from his nation, get away from his kindred, get out of where he was to a place God will tell him. And this man left and is living and his separation makes him a father of blessings. His separation is living made him a father of blessings. If the time and money we spend in doing all kinds of things in the church, the time and money and effort we spend trying to work up evangelism in lukewarm churches, we're spent in calling the churches themselves to repentance, confession, cleansing, empowering the result of evangelism. If we separate ourselves and we're able to acquire the power that we need, evangelism will be the natural result. The New Testament tries to build us up as Christians, concentrating teachings on how to develop healthy Christian life. Because when the Christian lives are healthy, it will naturally lead to soul winning when we are living healthy Christian life. It will lead to soul winning. I pray that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Remember Moses too. Moses had to separate before he could have the encounter. Moses grew up in the house of Pharaoh. He lived there for 40 years. But then, he wasn't getting any breakthrough with his destiny until he went to that flock, separated, and then God began to talk to him. Same thing with Jacob. Jacob separated himself, he was alone, and Evans began to pour information to him. Evans began to repair his destiny because of that separation. Most likely, the popular book of Revelation 
would not have been written if there was no island of Patmos. It was the separation of the island of Patmos that John the Revelator was able to see what were now written in Revelation. We live in a generation where it's in a hurry, we're hurrying to nowhere, or we value them with meaningless things, and we do a lot of meaningless activities. The Bible says, and Jacob was left alone. And when Jacob was left alone, his destiny changed. His life changed. God is calling us to separation. What do we do in this kind of situation? The Bible solution is very easy. Number one, we need to be more serious with our God. We need to be more serious with our God. Number two, we need to decide that we must separate. That there is no unity between light and darkness. And there is no way light and darkness can dwell together. We need to know that we cannot be unequally yoked together with unbelievers and expect heavens to answer our prayers. We need to know that the power of God will work mightily in our lives if we separate ourselves. May the Lord help you to take a solid decision to cut off ungodly associations, to cut off ungodly friends, to cut off ungodly talks, ungodly activities, so that you come out of the rot and of the sinking mess that the world has entered into. God bless you, Jesus. Name. It is time to pray now. These are very, very serious prayers. And I want you to pray them from your heart. Believe in God that he will touch you, even as you pray. So, oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Give me the spirit of revelation and wisdom. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, oh God, arise. Let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, O oh Lord, let me experience your power in a new way. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, let me experience your power in a new way. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, let me experience your power in a new way. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, let me experience your power in a new way. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, let me experience your power in a new way. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, let me experience your power in a new way. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, O oh Lord, let me experience the power of God that will burn away the power of darkness on my body. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, let me experience the power of God that will burn away the power of darkness on my body. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Say, Father, establish my heart blameless and in holiness before you. In the name of Jesus, Father, establish my heart blameless and in holiness before you. In the name of Jesus, establish my heart blameless and in holiness before you. In the name of Jesus, establish my heart blameless and in holiness before you. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so Father, let me be enriched in all utterance and all knowledge. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me be enriched in all utterance and in all knowledge. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me be enriched in all utterance and in all knowledge. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me be enriched in all utterance and in all knowledge. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me be enriched in all utterance and in all knowledge. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me be enriched in all utterance and in all knowledge. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, O oh God, arise and let the testimony of Christ be confirmed in me. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and let the testimony of Christ be confirmed in me. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and let the testimony of Christ be confirmed in me. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and let the testimony of Christ be confirmed in me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, let me be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let me be blameless in the days of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me be blameless. Oh Lord, let me be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let me be blameless in the name of Jesus. Father, let me be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, O oh God, arise and fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and fill me to the brim with spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, O oh Lord, grant me the boldness to speak your word. In the name of Jesus, oh God, grant me the boldness to speak your word. In the name of Jesus, oh God, grant me the boldness to speak your word. In the name of Jesus, grant me the boldness to speak your word. In the name of Jesus, oh God, grant me the boldness to speak your words. In the name of Jesus, grant me that boldness to speak your word. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Holy Ghost fire. Incubate my body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Incubate my body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Incubate my body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Incubate my body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Incubate my body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, Oh God, arise. Heal every department of my life and make me whole. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Heal every department of my life and make me whole. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Heal every department of my life and make me whole. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Heal every department of my life and make me whole. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Heal every department of my life and make me whole. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Heal every department of my life and make me whole. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Heal every department of my life and make me whole. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Heal every department of my life and make me whole. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, my father. Break all negative genetic ties upon my life. In the name of Jesus, 
my father, break all negative genetic ties upon my life. In the name of Jesus, break every negative genetic ties upon my life. In the name of Jesus, break every negative genetic ties that is upon my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have water and oil or mantle that you want us to pray upon as a faith material, just bring them out now. Father, we thank you for the oil and the water and the mantle. Let your anointing fall upon these materials in the name of Jesus. Let these materials become material of healing, deliverance, and power. Let this material become material of fire and power. Let this material break down every yoke of darkness. Let this material destroy every plantation of the enemy. Let this material destroy every unrising of darkness. Let this material destroy every unrising of the enemy. Let this material put to shame every power of the oppressor. Let this material put to shame every power of infirmity. Use them as instrument of healing, deliverance, and power. On contact with any infirmity, let the infirmity die. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, I commit your children unto your holy hands. Continue to lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Continue to anoint them by the power of the Holy Spirit. Continue to move them forward in the mighty name of Jesus. It is written that you to the hills shall raise up your head. For from that comes your help. The help comes of the Lord who made them and Do not suffer your feet to be moved. For that keep it in not slumber. That keep it in your head and that The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Then there shall any place come near your camp. It is well with you. I cover you your family with the blood of Jesus. Every rage of the enemy, I command the rage to be silenced. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive the anointing and power to go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. It is well with you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you in Jesus' name. So, friend, the school of prayer and deliverance, Daniel Lukoya, may the Lord continue to strengthen you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Pray these prayers with fire and with power. Believe in the Lord for his divine visitation upon your life. Powers, making evil pronouncements against me. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Powers, making evil pronouncements against me. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Powers, making evil pronouncements against me. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Powers making evil pronouncements against me. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Powers making evil pronouncements against me. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every power speaking death on my destiny be wasted in the name of Jesus. Every power speaking death on my destiny be wasted in the name of Jesus. Every power speaking death upon my destiny be wasted in the name of Jesus. 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 Every power speaking death upon my destiny be wasted in the name of Jesus. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say my name. Hear the word of the Lord. Depart from every evil altar. In the name of Jesus. My name. Hear the word of the Lord. Depart from every evil altar. In the name of Jesus. My name. Hear the word of the Lord. Depart from every evil altar. In the name of Jesus. My name. Hear the word of the Lord. Depart from every evil altar. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say dark powers discussing my destiny for destruction. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. Dark powers discussing my destiny for destruction. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. Dark powers discussing my destiny for destruction. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. 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 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers protecting my battles from dying. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers and protecting my battles from dying. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers protecting my battles from dying. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say stubborn problems caused by blood in my life. Receive destruction in the name of Jesus. Stubborn problems caused by blood in my life. Receive destruction in the name of Jesus. Receive destruction in the name of Jesus. Problems caused by blood in my life. Receive destruction in the name of Jesus. Receive destruction in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every power assigned to use my body as habitation of sickness, I set to a blaze. In the name of Jesus, every power sent to use my body as habitation of sickness, I set to a blaze. In the name of Jesus, I set to a blaze. In the name of Jesus, I set to a blaze. In the name of Jesus, I set to a blaze. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I'm praying for all those who have gathered on this particular prayer line. Mo kapotali keraba. I decree that it shall be well with you. I decree that the Almighty will arise for your sake in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord will do something in your life that will make your life a testimony in the name of Jesus. And every enemy of your divine acceleration, I command them to scatter. I command them to scatter. I command them to scatter. I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every power that wants you to fail, I command the powers to fail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Thank you, Jesus. Deliverance of the blood. We're going to read three scriptures very quickly. The first one is Genesis chapter 4 verse 10. Genesis chapter 4 verse 10. This is God asking Cain a question in the book of Genesis. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. This is the voice of God addressing Cain who had killed his brother. He said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. In Hebrews chapter 12, Verse 24, the Bible says, And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh better things than that of Abel. God spoke about the voice of the blood crying. This one talking about the blood of Abel speaking. Then, in First John chapter 5, from verse 6, First John 5, 6, This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. There are three that bear witness in the earth, the Spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. Thank you, Jesus. The life of the flesh is in the blood. We are born of the blood. We exist by the blood. And we cease to exist the day the blood ceases to flow. Your destiny is in your blood. Your unknown past can be traced through your blood. Ancestral blood contains the characteristics. You spend money in the physical, but you spend blood in the realm of the spirit. Even the church of Jesus Christ was purchased with the blood of Jesus. The price of the salvation of the Christian is the blood of Jesus. Same way, many are demonic slaves because they are sold to the devil by the blood of their ancestors. Blood speaks. And because blood speaks, 
It is possible for your blood to speak against you. The blood of Jesus speaks for you, but your blood may be speaking against you just like the blood of Abel, speaking against Cain. It is the blood that makes children pay for the sins of their parents and ancestors. If the blood that runs in your veins is not speaking in your favor, neither is it speaking for you, but for your ancestors, then there is a big problem. In every blood, there are commitments and dedication of the ancestors. In the blood resides the demons assigned to fulfill every laid down arrangement by the ancestors. Documentation about the ancestral transfer is stored in the blood. The issue of inherited ancestral blood have not really been adequately addressed. You must learn the following principles. You must learn how to speak to your blood. There's an inherited blood from your family tree. You must command any negative voice in your blood to shut up. You must command your blood not to respond to demonic projection. You must call on the blood of Jesus to destroy every demonic document inside your blood. You must ask the blood of Jesus to crush every inherited demon and render them impotent. You must learn how to decree, how to silence every evil power operating through your blood. You must be able to shout loud and clear that powers of darkness are signed to make use of my blood catch fire. You must be able to declare that you, the demons of my son, I bind you and I cast you out. You must paralyze the evil powers in your blood before you can fight a good warfare. When the blood of your ancestors starts to give instructions to demons and forces of darkness, you must address your blood. You must prevent your blood from countering your prayers. Success or failure is in the blood. When your blood has and is saying evil things against you, it will reflect in your life in the physical. The blood of Abel cried for vengeance, not peace or joy. The undelivered blood will utter evil cries. Undelivered inherited blood has the power to transfer the past evils to offsprings. They become legitimate slaves or lawful captives. Listen and listen very well, beloved. Learning to plead the blood of Jesus will give you one of the most powerful prayer that you can use for any kind of deliverance and protection. Pleading the blood of Jesus will give you God's protection before adversity strikes. Pleading the blood of Jesus will give you physical healing. Pleading the blood of Jesus will give you emotional healing. Pleading the blood of Jesus will give you mental healing. Pleading the blood of Jesus will help you to battle dark powers. Pleading the blood of Jesus will help you to battle adversities. Pleading the blood of Jesus can give you financial healing. As we move into end time adversities, we need to go back to the traditional blood of Jesus prayer. There is plenty of harmful things and tragedies in our world. The blood of Jesus prayer is needed more than at any other time. Too many Christians are getting robbed, raped, murdered, cheated, or harassed. But blood of Jesus gives forgiveness, deliverance, and protection. You can plead the blood of Jesus on your body, soul, and spirit, on your office, your house, your car, your finances, your spouses, your children. You can apply the bloodline on what you are doing. The blood of Jesus possesses cleansing power, sanitizing power, deliverance power, healing power, protection power, life-giving power, yoke-breaking power, overcoming power, door-opening power, creative power, renewing power, Battle deserving power, promotion receiving power, breakthrough power, miracles receiving power, poison destruction, mountain destruction, demon paralyzing power, virtue recovering power, body removing power, yoke breaking power. I pray that the blood of Jesus will avail for you in the name of Jesus. I pray by the blood of Jesus. You will possess all your possessions in the name of Jesus. There is power in those songs. Those songs that we sing. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. Jesus Christ, there is power mighty in the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers Satan, the blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers Satan. 
There is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. These are powerful songs. Listen, beloved. Blood demons are demons that affect the blood. There are actually blood born demons. There are demons that live in human blood and they cause a lot of problems for man. During really sleep, demons residing in the blood move to the realm of the spirit to visit all kinds of strange places. Understand, beloved, the life of every living thing is in the blood. Human battles, life, destiny, problems, afflictions are in the blood. Demons in the blood, particularly ancestral demons, are more stubborn than other type of demons. Ancestral demons inhabit the blood, thus making offspring to acquire the problems inherent in the blood of the ancestors. To overcome demons in the blood requires strong prayer, strong anointing, and power of the word of God. Your blood can be your enemy, because the only blood that speaks for you is the blood of Christ. Your blood may not speak in your favor, but speaks against you. And there are plenty of blood-related demons. You need the Holy Spirit to open your spiritual ears to hear what the blood is saying. Blood demons are responsible for horrible conditions that have tormented people. Ancestral demons, infirmity demons, spirit of death and hell, and ungodly habits, stubborn situations that resist prayers. I pray that the Lord will deliver everyone on this program in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. In case you are in this program, you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus, you have an opportunity to do so now by saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Meet each and everyone at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, outstanding things in their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I thank God for those of you who surrender your life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I rejoice with you. For more information, counseling and prayers, kindly send your name, your address, the telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen. And we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. It is time to begin to pray. These are not ordinary prayers. These are prayers using the blood of Jesus. Pray it from your heart. Pray it with fire and with power. Pray it with all your strength. Jesus is here. His power is in this place. Can you shout this loud and clear? Blood of Jesus. Speak better things into my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, speak better things into my life. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Speak better things into my life. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Speak better things into my life. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Speak better things into my life. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Speak better things into my life. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Speak better things into my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Blood of Jesus. Silence every blood crying against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence every blood crying against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence every blood crying against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, silence every blood crying against my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood, shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood, shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood, shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood, shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices from my blood, 
Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices on my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices on my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices on my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices on my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices on my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices on my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices on my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Evil voices on my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Say, blood of Jesus. Destroy every demonic document inside my blood in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, destroy every demonic document inside my blood in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, destroy every demonic document inside my blood in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, destroy every demonic document inside my blood in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, destroy every demonic document inside my blood in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, destroy every demonic document inside my blood in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, destroy every demonic document inside my blood. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, destroy every demonic document inside my blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blood of Jesus, paralyze every inherited demons inside my blood. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, paralyze every inherited demons inside my blood. In the name of Jesus, paralyze every inherited demons inside my blood. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, paralyze every inherited demons inside my blood. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so every power, making my blood to counter my prayers. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power, making my blood to counter my prayers. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power, making my blood to counter my prayers. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power making my blood to counter my prayers. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power making my blood to counter my prayers. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so apply the blood of Jesus to every eating sickness in my life. In the name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus to every eating sickness in my life. In the name of Jesus, I apply the blood of Jesus to every eating sickness in my life. In the name of Jesus, I apply the blood of Jesus to every eating sickness in my life. In the name of Jesus, I apply the blood of Jesus to every eating sickness in my life. In the name of Jesus, I apply the blood of Jesus to every eating sickness in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I paralyze every satanic oppressor delegated against me with the blood of Jesus. I paralyze all satanic oppressors delegated against me with the blood of Jesus. I paralyze all satanic oppressors delegated against me with the blood of Jesus. I paralyze all satanic oppressors delegated against me with the blood of Jesus. I paralyze all satanic oppressors delegated against me with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say every door that I've opened to the enemy be closed forever by the blood of Jesus. Every door that I've opened to the enemy be closed forever by the blood of Jesus. Be closed forever. Be closed forever by the blood of Jesus. Be closed forever by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, blood of Jesus, flow into my bloodstream. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, flow into my bloodstream. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, flow into my bloodstream. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, flow into my bloodstream. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Flow into my bloodstream in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, flow into my bloodstream in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, flow into my bloodstream in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, flow into my bloodstream in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anointing that breaks the yoke. Flow into my blood. 
in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. Anointing that breaks the yoke, flow into my blood in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say any arrow of darkness fired into my blood. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Any arrow of darkness fired into my blood. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Any arrow of darkness fired into my blood. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire. 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 Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any failure and disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Any failure or disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Any failure or disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Any failure or disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Any failure and disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Any failure and disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Any failure and disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Any failure and disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Any failure and disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Any failure and disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Any failure and disappointment inside my blood die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I pray for all those who have gathered on this prayer line. Every blood pollution, every inherited blood problems, every inherited blood disease, every inherited blood characters and habits, every inherited blood curses, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken in the name of Jesus. Every bloodline demon, lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Every bloodline problems, lose your hold in the name of Jesus. 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 Every power assigned to make anyone on this line fail, let that power fail by the power in the blood of Jesus. Right there where you are, receive your deliverance of stagnancy. Receive your deliverance from limitation from stagnancy and from frustration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus will arise and fight all your battles by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this loud and clear. Every power assigned to push my star down be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to push my star down be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Be disgraced, be disgraced, be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Be disgraced, be disgraced, be disgraced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Through the blood of Jesus, say this loud and clear. Through the blood of Jesus, I am healed. Through the blood of Jesus, I have the life of God in me. In the name of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, I am healed. Through the blood of Jesus, 
I have the life of God in me. Through the blood of Jesus, I am healed. Through the blood of Jesus, I have the life of God in me. Through the blood of Jesus, I am healed. Through the blood of Jesus, I have the life of God in me. Through the blood of Jesus, I am healed. Through the blood of Jesus, I have the life of God in me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this loud and clear. I hold the blood of Jesus as a shield against any power of sickness in my life. In the name of Jesus, I hold the blood of Jesus as a shield against any power of sickness in my life. In the name of Jesus, I hold the blood of Jesus as a shield against any power of sickness in my life. In the name of Jesus, I hold it as a shield. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you now share these three prayers as loud as a voice can carry you? Don't negotiate with anybody. Powers assigned to use me as an evil example. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to use me as an evil example. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to use me as an evil example. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I bind and cast out every sweet of frustration in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every sweet of frustration in the name of Jesus. I bind and I cast out every sweet of frustration in the name of Jesus. I bind and I cast out every sweet of frustration in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so any curse that has been affecting my life since I was born. Break in the name of Jesus. Any curse that has been affecting my life since I was born. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you in Jesus. Say thank you for joining this first edition of Deliverance of the Blood. We continue the program part two and also part three. God bless you in Jesus' name. It is your friend in the school of prayer and deliverance, Daniel Lukoya. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. This is your friend in the school of prayer and deliverance, Daniel Lukoya. You are most warmly welcome to the revival hour. An hour for those who have dogged determination to make heaven. An hour for those who want the power of God to touch their lives. And now for those who want to move in a new way in the realm of the Spirit. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to look at what I call the school of spiritual dullness. The school of spiritual dullness. Spiritual dullness is a great problem. And you can see the rage of it. Especially in this situation the world is passing through. In the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 13, verse 15, the school of spiritual dullness. I pray that you will not be a spiritual dullard in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not be a spiritual dullard in the name of Jesus. Being a dullard in the spirit realm does not say that you have not gone to Bible college. It does not say you cannot have a PhD in theology. It does not say that you are an apostle, you are a superintendent, a general overseer. It does not say that it is not spiritually dull, even if they call you all those names. Spiritual dullness is a very serious problem. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 15, it reads, For these people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. What a word. 
what a word. For these people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes are they closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. He said their ears are dull of hearing, their eyes are closed. What a statement. I pray that you will not be dull of hearing in the name of Jesus. I also pray that your spiritual eyes will not close in the name of Jesus. Now in Acts of Apostles, chapter 28, verse 27, say, For the heart of these people is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes are they closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. It's repeating exactly what was said in Matthew 13, 15. But in Hebrews chapter 5, verse 11, Hebrews 5, 11, it says, Of whom we have many things to say, and hard to be uttered, see ye are dull of hearing. Of whom we have many things to say, and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. Now in the book of Luke chapter 24, verse 25, Jesus addressed some people and he actually called them fools. Jesus called them fools. Jesus was in their midst. They did not know. They were lamenting that Jesus had died. In Luke chapter 24, verse 25, it says, Then he said unto them, O oh, fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. O oh, fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. All this points to the fact that there is spiritual dullness and that it is a great, great problem. This is a very, very serious situation that those who are not dull of hearing will think deeply and know what to do. Some pastors now will learn that it is better to build human beings, to train members, than to build houses. The Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Like I said before, prayer is the greatest power on earth. Prayer is the key in God's treasure house. The key to the treasure house of God. Prayer is the only thing the devil cannot do. There is a substitute for many things that we do, but there is no substitute for prayers. We must understand this very well. So the man who can really pray has nothing to fear. Prayer succeeds while all other things fail because prayer is the engine by which the locomotive power of God runs. Prayers do not die. And like I said, the awesomeness of the power of prayer has not been adequately presented to our generation. But the School of Prayer has a large number of students, a large number of students. And out of that School of Prayer, there is a large number of students who are dull of hearing. A large number of dull students. Thousands fail at the School of Prayer every day. Because prayer is not a mechanical operation. Prayer is not a parrot-like agenda. The Holy Spirit should teach us what and how to pray at any given time. I pray that the anointing of prayer will come upon us in the name of Jesus. But the truth is this. This dullness is a problem. We have to be spiritually sensitive if we are going to be eagles in the place of prayer. Without being spiritually sensitive, it would be impossible to be an eagle in the place of prayer. Spiritual sensitivity will enable you to pray targeted prayers, which will yield maximum results. Maximum results. Spiritual sensitivity will put you ahead of every enemy that wants to embarrass you or disgrace you. If we are dull in the spirit realm, if we are dull in the spirit realm, the enemy will prey on us. 
and weaken us totally. Let me now make some statements about spiritual dullness and sensitivity, which we must be careful to note. We must be very, very careful to note them. As you listen, the Lord will open your understanding mightily in the name of Jesus. And this warfare waged against mankind will not overshadow or overcome you in the name of Jesus. Number one, without spiritual sensitivity, we will continue to grope in the dark. May we not grope in the dark in the name of Jesus. Number two, without spiritual sensitivity, we will be mocked by the enemy. Number three, without spiritual sensitivity, we become fools in the spirit realm. Jesus called those people fools. So how can fools pray the correct prayers? How can fools pray targeted prayers? I pray that the Lord will open our understanding in the name of Jesus. Without spiritual sensitivity, our lives may be cut short prematurely. Our lives will be cut short prematurely by the powers of darkness. But Lucky was in his car, traveling. All of a sudden, he began to hear a nudging in his spirit. Stop. Pack this car. Stop. Pack this car. Stop. Pack this car. Stop. Pack this car. He did not listen. Kept going. Kept going. At a level, the voice became louder. Stop, park this car. At that level, he stopped driving and parked. An impression in the heart made him to stop. He allowed several cars to pass. By the time we take off again, at the front, there had been a massive accident. All those cars that passed by him had crashed. And everyone, without exception, had died. If he was not spiritually sensitive, he too would have been wasted. And somebody will blame God for that. Number five. Spiritual sensitivity is ability to receive messages from the Holy Spirit. To guide you and to guard you. Ability to receive messages from the Holy Spirit. To guide you and to guard you. Can you close your eyes and say this loud and clear? My Father, arise. Open my spiritual eyes. Open my spiritual ears. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise. Open my spiritual eyes. Open my spiritual ears. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise. Open my spiritual eyes. Open my spiritual ears. In the name of Jesus, my in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Spiritual sensitivity, number six. Is an outflow of regular communion with the Holy Ghost. An outflow of regular communion with the Holy Ghost. We must all become friends of the Holy Spirit and communicate with the Holy Spirit constantly, regularly, since it's our friend, it's our partner. We must fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Seven, prayers made with dullness of the Spirit can hardly get maximum results. Prayers made with dullness of the Spirit can hardly get maximum results. Eight, spiritual dullness or dullness of the heart is a prayer killer. Not be sensitive in the Spirit is a prayer killer. Now, spiritual sensitivity is what we need. And spiritual sensitivity is being led by the Spirit of God. Romans 8, 14, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. 10. Praying with spiritual sensitivity will make us take decisions that will not jeopardize our lives and those of our loved ones. When we pray with spiritual sensitivity, we will take decisions that will not jeopardize our lives or those of our loved ones. May we become sensitive in the Spirit in the name of Jesus. May Almighty God open our eyes and our ears in the name of Jesus. May all spiritual catalogs 
and dumbness and deafness of the spirit be cleared away by the power in the blood of Jesus. A sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Eleven. Spiritual sensitivity is possessing spiritual antenna that can pick up the wavelength of the Holy Spirit. Spiritual antenna that can pick up the wavelength of the Holy Spirit. Some, no matter how spiritual an environment is, they can feel nothing. It's spiritual dullness. You can't hear, you can't see, you can't prophesy, you don't know anything. It is a dangerous place to be. You are like a bomb waiting to explode, an accident waiting to happen. I pray that the situation we are in now will energize you to increase your spiritual fire, will energize you to increase your spiritual tempo, will encourage you to collect more fire from heaven, will encourage you to practice long praying, long reading, long meditation, and will encourage you to get closer to your God. This is the time to get really, really close to God. This is the time to recover all those spiritual progress that you have lost. This is the time to swallow holy medicine and let it cure you from all those spiritual infirmities God has been complaining about. Twelve, spiritual sensitivity empowers you to scan your environment, to detect satanic door of affliction, tormenting you or tormenting people around you. You scan your environment. It enables you to scan your environment so you can know what is tormenting you, what is tormenting those around you. Can you close your eyes again and say this loud and clear? Oh God, arise. I am available. Make me your battle axe. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. I am available. Make me your battle axe. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. I am available. Make me your battle axe. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. I am available. Make me your battle axe. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. I am available. Make me your battle axe. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. I am available. Make me your battle axe. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 13. Spiritual sensitivity includes awareness of one's spiritual environment. When you are sensitive in the spirit, you are aware of your environment. You know what kind of spiritual environment surrounds you. Jesus at the Garden of Gethsemane, when the disciples didn't know what was going on, and Peter was bringing out swords to fight, Jesus said something very interesting. He said, while I was you, you daily in the temple, could you lay your hands upon me? He said, but this is your hour, and the hour of the power of darkness. Jesus said, this, this is your hour. He could see what was happening in the environment. May we be sensitive to our environment in the name of Jesus. 14. Spiritual sensitivity is made sharper by night prayers. It's made sharper by night prayers. So if you are not used to praying the night, you should start praying at night. Praying with spiritual sensitivity demands awareness of the period when satanic activities are at the highest. Praying with spiritual sensitivity demands awareness of the periods when satanic activities are at the highest. Some don't pray when satanic activities are at the highest. They wait for things to build up and cause more trouble. I pray that the Holy Ghost will arise for your sake and help you in the name of Jesus. 16. Praying with spiritual sensitivity enables you to become aware of satanic manipulation. When the person is being manipulated, it's that spiritual sensitivity, that power of discernment that can help you to know that you are being manipulated. The devil is an expert at showing your friends as your enemies and your enemies as your friends. So you need that spiritual sensitivity. Can you say, oh God, arise? 
remove spiritual dullness from my life. Oh God, arise. Remove spiritual dullness from my life. Oh God, arise. Remove spiritual dullness from my life. Oh God, arise. Remove spiritual dullness from my eyes. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 17. Spiritual sensitivity enables us to gather information from our dreams. Spiritual sensitivity enables us to gather information from our dreams. Your dreams, they are your spiritual monitor. They tell us what is going on in your life in the spirit realm. Although each dream has a message, if you are not spiritually sensitive enough, you may not be able to gather information from those dreams. This is why we need to really pray hard on this spiritual sensitivity. Things are happening now. All kinds of people are saying all kinds of things. All kinds of prophets are talking. All kinds of uh, people are saying things. All kinds of preachers are saying things. But they forget that no matter what, Amos 3, 6 is still true. Shall evil befall a city? And I, the Lord, has not done it. 18. Spiritual dullness will make us victims of manipulation in dreams. If we are dull in the spirit, we'll be manipulated in our dreams. The enemy will show you your friends as your enemies and your enemies as your friends. You will lack the spirit of interpretation and you will give wrong interpretation that will mislead you. A lot of people have wrongly interpreted things in their dreams because of spiritual dullness. I pray one more time that every power of spiritual dullness must die in the name of Jesus. Every activity of spiritual dullness must be removed in the name of Jesus. I pray once again that our spiritual eyes must be opened in the name of Jesus. I pray once again that the cataract in the eyes and the spirit must melt away in the name of Jesus. I pray once again that spiritual dullness must disappear in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold amen. 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 It seems somebody who came up with a long term pregnancy. And before that long term pregnancy, he used to have this sex in the dream. Sex in the dream. There is sex in the dream. There is also sex with a proper physical husband. Eventually, there was pregnancy. Pregnancy now took a long time in the womb. Simply because. The conception was by the spirit husband, spiritually. And that was a problem. Until that dullness was removed and we could understand. Also, she could understand. She remained in the problem. I pray that every activity and power of spiritual dullness will be removed completely in the name of Jesus. 19. Praying with spiritual sensitivity means that we will recognize burdens. When there is a burden in the heart, when you are spiritually sensitive, you will recognize that burden in the heart. And as you recognize the burden in the heart, you'll be able to intercede as you recognize the burden in the heart. 20. The deeper our consecration, the deeper our consecration, the more easily we can hear direct instruction of the Holy Spirit. Do you want to get more information from the Holy Ghost? Then consecrate your life more. Be more serious with God. Listen to Him more. Be more attentive to His words. Consecrate your life more. 21. Sensitive assignments in the realm of the Spirit are only given to spiritually sensitive people. Sensitive assignments in the realm of the Spirit are only given to spiritually sensitive people. Not those who don't really care. Not those who don't really care. If you read your Bible very well, you look at a man who carried a spiritual burden for the birth of Jesus Christ. He carried a spiritual burden for the birth of Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 2, Luke chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost 
that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord Jesus Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law. Then he took him up in his hands and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. They were surprised. There was a spiritually sensitive man. 22. Contra compassion sharpens sensitivity. God sees compassion and love in your heart, your sensitivity will be sharpened. 23. The Holy Spirit is a powerful intercessor. The Holy Spirit intercedes for us. We know not how we should pray the way we ought to, but the Holy Spirit intercedes for us. And you learn how to intercede in the Holy Ghost, you learn how to connect to the Holy Spirit in the school of prayer, your sensitivity increases. 24. Spiritually sensitive people, they understand what we call prophetic actions. They understand what you call prophetic actions. Prophetic actions. Let me spend some time to explain this to many of us who don't understand. Prophetic actions. Prophetic action is often needed to overcome the battles of life. Prophetic action is a divine prescription. Prophetic action is a divine directive which if acted upon brings prayer from the realm of transition to the realm of answer. It will pray without result. If you are not sensitive enough to find out the prophetic action that ought to be undertaken, it is not all the time that prophetic action is needed. Sometimes it is needed. Hannah had no breakthrough until she vowed to give her unborn son Samuel back to God. A prophetic action, First Samuel chapter 1. Elisha cut a stick and threw it at the river and the axe came up, a prophetic action. Elisha, Paul sought to heal the waters of the land in Second Kings 2, prophetic action. Elisha ordered Naaman to go and see himself into the river Jordan sometimes. And it shall be made whole. A prophetic action. Moses threw ashes into the skies to bring boils on the Egyptians. A prophetic action. Elisha laid on a dead body. Prophetic action. Jesus told somebody, go and wash yourself in the pool. It was a prophetic action. A prophetic action. So a prophetic action defies natural explanation. It may look foolish to the natural. It may look as if it's senseless but must be done for results. Spiritual sensitivity will enable you to know the prophetic action relevant to dealing with your situation. Prophetic action relevant to dealing with your situation. Dullness of hearing has killed many believers before their time. May you not die before your time. You need deliverance from spiritual dullness. You need to get out of that cage of spiritual dullness. You say, how do I do that? I will tell you. Number one, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. You need to be born again. You need to surrender your life to Jesus. You need to be born again. And you can do that if you've not done so already by saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life in Jesus' name. Amen. You need to surrender your life to Jesus. Number two, you need to repent from every known sin. Number three, you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Number four, you need to be broken. Being broken is when God says yes, you say yes. And God says no, you say no. And God says sit down, you sit down. Stand up, stand up. 
Don't talk, you don't talk. Five, you need to be 100% obedient to God. Anything God tells you, obey it 100%. Six, you need to be a Bible addict. You need to be biblically literate. You need to meditate on the word of God, swallow the word of God, eat the word of God the way you eat food. Seven, your prayer voltage must be very high. You must become a prayer addict. Your prayer voltage must be very high. You must become a prayer addict. The more you pray, the closer to God you become. Eight, you must have a channel of divine communication. You, there must be a way that God speaks to you. A way that God speaks to you. The most important need of any serious child of God is to hear from God. When you begin to hear from God, your progress begins. Your progress in life as a Christian begins when you begin to hear the voice of God. The problem is not that God is not speaking. God is speaking, but people are not hearing. God is a great communicator. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice, I will come in. The fact that you do not hear clearly from God does not mean that God is not speaking. But you see, the natural man is born deaf and dumb to God. The Bible says, As in Adam all died, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But then, God is under no obligation to begin to talk to rebellious children. Under no obligation to talk to rebellious children. Note, there are three main voices that speak to man. The voice of man, the voice of the devil, the voice of God. You must decide, you must hear the voice of God. And to do that, you want to hear his voice, make sure you cultivate prompt obedience to God. Be careful what you say, be careful what you hear. Take time to meditate deeply. Make sure you receive the fullness of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Make fervent prayer your habit. Make fervent prayer your habit. You may not be hearing words from the Lord the way some prophets may hear. But there is something called the conscience. Your conscience has a voice. Every conscience has a voice. Your conscience is that detective inside of you. It's the voice of the spirit man. When your spirit man is regenerated and overshadowed by the Holy Spirit, the voice of your conscience becomes the voice of God to you. And the deeper you are in God, the louder it becomes. I pray that the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are, I'd like you to close your eyes and roar in desperate prayers. So, all oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life. O oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life. O oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Clear away, clear away, clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Clear away, clear away, clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Clear away, clear away, clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, 
Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Spiritual robbers, spiritual thieves, depart from my spiritual life in the name of Jesus. Spiritual robbers, spiritual thieves, depart from my life in the name of Jesus. Depart from my life in the name of Jesus. Depart from my life in the name of Jesus. Depart from my life in the name of Jesus. Depart from my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so any power drinking the blood of my spiritual life. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any power drinking the blood of my spiritual life, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any power drinking the blood of my spiritual life, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any power drinking the blood of my spiritual life, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any power drinking the blood of my spiritual life, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless in Jesus' name. Let us share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness. Say, tap root of failure. Root of failure. Walking against me. Drop in the name of Jesus. Command the tap root of trial. In Jesus, let me pray. Say, my brain, my brain. receive divine fertilizer. Receive divine. In the name of Jesus, pray on your brain now. My brain, receive divine fertilizer. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus, let me pray. Say this after me, sisters. Every power spending the night to pull me down. And the sisters said this with only anger. Brothers, can you shout it louder by the sisters? Throw them away. Can you say this loud and clear? Uh huh. In the name of Jesus, let this one throw them away. In the name of Jesus. Ribos upon the Kayabo Shenter of the Polaba. If you are standing in the mind to put me down, let me say, throw you away. Basopo Kayabo Shenter of Alaba. Yes, continue, 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 continue. You open your mouth like fire again. All day, All day. Arise. and give me my portion. In the name of Jesus, collect your portion. In the name of Jesus. Give me my portion. In the name of Jesus. The path has set a diamond. In Jesus, let me pray. Say, so, oh, Power stealing my portion. All day, all day. And curse any power 
stealing my portion. In the name of Jesus. Any power stealing my portion. Let it be cast them. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> I wish you could see what is happening now. There is confusion in the heavens. That's right. Raise up your voice like fire again. Every wicked power in the second heavens that is representing my family. Can you say this with hot anger? Uh huh. In the second. In the name of Jesus. Yes, enough is enough. Be released, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released in the name of Jesus. From the second heavens, break in the name of Jesus. Break the rod of affliction in the name of Jesus. Masika chaya bo shente ya bo kora ba. Ribo saponde kaya bo ko shente ya ba kaya ba. Mapela bo ko sete ya bo ko shente. We are poor like I said to you about. Yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Break the run of affliction. 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 Masika te ya bo shen te ya ba. Any problem that wants to kill me, in the name of Jesus, kill the problem. Let the problem die. In the name of Jesus, let the problem die. Let the problem die. In the name of Jesus. Jesus 
Jesus name we pray. Say every mouth speaking against me with satanic anointing. Also transfer their arrows back to them. Sisters now, say it loud and clear. Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. In the name of Jesus. Can you say it with only anger? Death! In the name of Jesus! In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sing this song loud and clear to celebrate what the Lord has just done here now. Sing this song loud and clear. Victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. We are victorious. from my life by the powers of the night. I will repossess you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Whatever they have stolen, repossess it. The power of polygamous witchcraft. The In the name of Jesus. That's right. Yeah. 
Jesus' name we pray. Affliction of the day. In the name of Jesus, deal with that affliction. Affliction of the day. Command them to be dismantled and to be destroyed. Jesus, name we pray. Stretch your two hands forward now and let your amen be super dynamic. Within the next few minutes, some transactions will begin to take place here. Listen, what some people have lost for years, as I pray now, will be put right back in their hands. As I pray right now, the power that has totally refused to give way for you for your breakthrough shall be completely cancelled. As I pray now, the terrible battles you have been going through and people have been laughing at you, all of a sudden there will be a change. As I pray this prayer now, all those things that are yours, that the enemy has been playing around with, you shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. And then, the agent of reproach assigned to pursue you shall cease from pursuing you. And they shall pursue themselves. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you are the King of Kings. We thank you because you are the Lord of Lords. Father, I decree right now that every destiny robber, every blessing robber, every breakthrough robber that has stolen from your people, right now, let there be a recovery. And as many people as are saying amen now, let them possess their possession. Possess your possession, 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 in the name of Jesus. By the power of the God that answered by fire, every challenge the enemy is bringing away. Let the challenge be scattered now. In the name of Jesus. And beginning from now, let good news begin to locate you on every side. In the name of Jesus. As many people as are here today, and wicked powers are toying with your destiny. I bury those powers now. In the name of Jesus, Maseka Tenda Yabo Shenta, the river Saponda, in the name of Jesus. Everyone hearing my voice now, right there where you are, right there where you are, let your angels of blessing begin to locate you. Be located by your angels of blessing. Let the angels locate you right now, right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray that anyone in this meeting this morning, and already your life is going through an evil pattern, I command the pattern to die. Now. In the name of Jesus. And whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, you must receive your deliverance today. In the name of Jesus. As we are sitting here this morning, each of us is either a victim of generational blessings or generational curses. You must decide to break it. Determine not to pass it to your children. Choose to pass blessings across your children. Choose that you will not pass curses along to them. I'm praying for you as I'm standing here that anything that the enemy has against you, 
and is using to allow curses to work upon your life shall be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Let your amen roar like thunder. I pray once again that any family curse working against anyone here by the power in the blood of Jesus break now. Break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent ticketed it by this. Oh God, Allah! Use me to change my family history. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray now. Now, power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Aha! name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Every curse in my bloodline. Can you shout this loud and clear? Die by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, witchcraft curses upon my family life. In the name of Jesus, let's command the curses to die. Which crowd curses along my family line? Yes. Kill the curses. Masepoko telakayaba. Jesus, move, 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 Enough is enough. Be released. Be released. You have been in bondage for years. Your day of deliverance has come. Be set free. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. This is wonderful. Aha. Those who are here today and the enemy has denied you your rightful possession, you are possessing them now. Say, ancestral fellow, let my family go in the name of Jesus. 
Yes. 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 Be released. 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 Ah 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 ah. Thank you Jesus. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Thank you Jesus. Please pray with reckless violence. Satanic dedication of my family. Break in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and break that satanic dedication. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Basepoka tonda kaya boshanga. Break the dedication. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh I'm making progress. Sisters, shout this with with your loudest voice. Any power that pursued my parents and is now pursuing me. Can I hear the sister shouting that? I want your voice to be loud and clear. Your voice is not loud enough, my sister. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. What are you waiting for? Oh yes, today is your day, this is not a day to negotiate, there must be no negotiation. Masetekaya bo shente rabo kopolaba, banakanta rabo sopolaba koya bo shente rabo, rapola katende yabo. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout this after me loud and clear. Anything buried by anybody that is dragging my family down. Can I hear you shouting this? I want you at the front to roar like thunder. Everybody shout it loud and clear. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Jesus, move. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word from the Lord to somebody here. The Lord said this morning, He has sent His lifting power to lift you to your breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You now shout this prayer before we continue. Shout it loud and clear. Collective captivity affecting my family life. Scatter in the name of Jesus. 
scattered in collective captivity. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Shout three victory, hallelujah. So many transactions are taking place here today, and I give God all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Shout it loud and clear. Amen. This is war now. Serious war. All eyes closed. Father, I'm praying for this person that you are showing to me now who has been swallowed by the enemy. Marriage swallowed. Finance swallowed. Right there where you are. Father, let the power that breaketh yoke fall upon this person over there. And let the person be set free. The powers that have swallowed you, let the powers vomit you now. Every distance that has been stolen from your life by the enemy, repossess your possession in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, these prayers, it will be dangerous to keep quiet. It is dangerous to lower your voice. It's dangerous to lose concentration. Can you shout this loud and clear? Occultic power. Calling my name for evil. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Masapatali katandayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. Very good. I want you to increase your aggression. Every coven entertaining my case. Can you shout it loud and clear? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Set them ablaze. By the power of the Holy Ghost, set them ablaze. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh, yes. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah. Every satanic prophet assigned against my life. In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Bondage of my father's eyes. Bondage of my mother's eyes. What are you watching for? Yeah! In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. So where is the Lord God of Elijah? And increase my speed. Can you shout that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power that wants my family to suffer. Uh, let your voice roar like thunder. 
Let your voice roar like thunder. You are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Something is happening here this morning. Masa Kantela Kaya Boshendelaba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For those of you who want to key into the anointing of the overcomer, Pray these prayer points with fire and with power. My Father, release unto me the angels of power. Do you understand that prayer? One single angel dealt with 185,000 of Sinakirub soldiers. One, one, one. Say, My Father, release. Unto me, the angels of power in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to say, That's right. Release unto me the angels of power. name we pray. Amen. Say inherited battles. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. That's right. name we pray as you have decreed in your mouth so shall it be in the name of Jesus every law that needs to be suspended that needs to be overruled for you to possess your possession for you to enter into your full scale laughter let that law be suspended and be broken now in the name of Jesus it shall be well with you the Lord will bless you from Zion it's a different service Actually, this service is to make available to you 70 prophetic utterances. The ball is now in your court to catch them, to arrest them, bring them into your life. But one thing is certain here today, as many people as shall claim any of these 70 prophetic utterances shall definitely have mighty testimonies. If you are one of those who will have testimony, let your amen be loud. How many prophetic utterances? Seven. Second Chronicles chapter 20. I read from verse 14. Second Chronicles 20, verse 14. Then upon Jahaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Beniah, the son of Jelel, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation and he said hacking ye on Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem and thou King Jehoshaphat thus said the Lord unto you be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but God's so tomorrow go ye down against them Behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. <laughs> Set yourself, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow, 
go out against them for the lord will be with you and Jehoshaphat bowed his head his face to the ground and all judah and the inhabitants of jerusalem fell before the lord worshiping the lord and the levites of the children of Korahites and of the children of Korahites stood up to praise the lord god of israel with a loud voice on her what a strange battle plan 20 and they rose early in the morning they went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. and as they went forth Jehoshaphat stood and said hear me O Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem believe in the Lord your God so shall ye be established believe his prophets so shall ye prosper And when they had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the Lord army and to say, Praise the Lord for his mercy and endure forever. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set an ambushment against the children of Amnon, Moab, and Monsia, which came against Judah, and they were smitten. That was why I asked you to sing those praises with holy misbehavior. Why is he going to do more? 23. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of monster these are three enemies that were fighting them now the enemies are now fighting themselves for the children of amnon and moab stood up against the inhabitants of monster utterly to slay and destroy them and listen to this and when they had made an end of the inhabitants of seer everyone helped to destroy another i prophesy upon the life of somebody here that your enemies shall destroy themselves they shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen roll like thunder. In the passage that we've read, we have instructions in the midst of battles. There are 10 instructions that God gives you in the middle of your battles. No matter what battle you are going through instruction number one according to this passage you've read now you must know your god know the god whom you serve the bible says they that know their god they shall be strong and they shall do exploits by the same token those who do not know their god they shall suffer and they shall be exploited know your god that your god is an awesome god your god is an awesome god this is a very serious matter and i want you to take it seriously a few days ago i was in congo kinshasa where the crusades were talking about the mystery of deep troubles as prayer started there was a lady in that program she was 38 39 she had never experienced menstruation at that age she was in the program Immediately we started praying. A few minutes of the prayer, our mother, who was not at the crusade, ran from home to rush to the crusade ground. I was asking after her. And when she came out, I said, I don't know what happened. So, but a few minutes ago, my younger sister began to confess to witchcraft. I don't know what you are doing here, but it's affecting her there. She has started confessing to witchcraft. She said, when you were born, and we gave her your placenta to bury she did not bury the placenta she threw it into river congo that's why your menstruation is gone that was all the mother came to say at the crusade and she went back home the awesome power of her god it was from that moment she began to have stomach ache and by the next day her menstruation that she hadn't seen for 30 39 years started that was the first time i would see somebody totally wet in blood and she's laughing the awesomeness of the power of her god i decree upon your life that any witchcraft power hiding anywhere to fire arrows at your destiny let the arrows backfire now in the name of jesus amen the second instruction you must know the enemy that the devil is bad and wicked third instruction do not fear fear will not change your circumstances fear will not conquer the enemy when fear is tolerated faith is contaminated when fear comes in faith jumps out don't be afraid no matter the multitude 
four do not be dismayed i just don't be stressed out don't be troubled don't be worried don't be so so much melancholic about the situation you are going through instruction five the battle is not yours but the lord's instruction six the only language the enemy understands is violence and the only thing the enemy respects is power seven you must know your spiritual weapons blood of jesus the word of god fire of god know those weapons eight know the word of god which is quick and powerful nine have violent faith in god that is believe in god he says you shall be established and then he said number 10 believe his prophets and you shall prosper believe his prophets and you shall prosper over seven thousand times in the bible when god speaks he speaks prophetically and when those prophetic words begin to come out today i know the lives of somebody here will no longer remain the same when god begins his operation his power lacks respect when god begins his operation he can change the rules for your sake when god begins his operation he has his way in the wind and in the wild wind when god begins his operation he can create something out of nothing and i pray for somebody here that any organ in your body that the enemy has destroyed shall be recreated now in the name of jesus when god begins his operation god can make a way where there is no way when god begins his operation the threat of your enemy the plan of your enemy is relevant when god begins his operation it can take you from nowhere to somewhere so seven things are necessary this morning here if you want to key into those prophecies number one you need to surrender your life to jesus that is not negotiable number two you need to become a friend of god and number three worry must die in your life worry will not give you anything number four violent faith to key into those prophecies number five you need brutal merciless holy cry the kind of amen you should say is an amen that when the enemy hears it he runs if you begin to say amen amen to these prophecies and you lose your voice in the process you've made a good bag as far as you claim the prophecies because that voice will come back then six you need violent praises when we begin to the praises praise god violently and seventh thing is to believe his prophets this is september the beginning of the ember months nine stands for completeness pregnancy lasts for nine months and delivery comes it was in the ninth hour jesus said it's finished nine stands for harvest conclusion completion of the matter that's what nine stands for so that's why you must key into that and claim this prophecy i'm here to help you so that you can gain maximum benefit of today's service if a friend brought you here today you should thank your friend profusely because what will happen today in your life will mark a reference point rise up on your feet now rise up on your feet this is an important step before we begin to claim prophecies all eyes closed if you are here this morning you are not born again you have not just surrendered your life to jesus don't waste time because you want to go and pray wherever you are while all eyes are closed just leave your seat and come to the altar here at the front or the two altars at the back jesus is waiting for you here. quickly just leave that seat and come out don't be shy don't be ashamed that's why jesus brought you here don't lose out on the volcanic and earthquake eruption of the power of god that is going to manifest here today you want to surrender your life to jesus do that very very quickly now find a way to the altar there is a fountain. we have taken this most important decision in life i pray oh lord that you keep them standing by your power lay your hands upon their lives this decision they've taken today let it be permanent in their lives almighty will continue to uphold you and you shall have a new beginning in jesus name we pray right there where you are the counselors will discuss with you 
and they will tell you your next step to take. The rest of us, please bow down your heads and very quietly confess your sins to the Lord. Any sin that will make you not to claim your breakthrough here today, ask the Lord to forgive you. Please close your eyes, bow down your heads and say it. Jesus is here. He has never failed. He will never fail. He's the mighty man of war, the great I am. Talk to the Lord now. Talk to him. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood. The blood of Jesus, I plead. The blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead. The blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead. The blood. Blood of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood. Of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead. Shall 
Lord said loud hallelujah. And loud hallelujah. Have your seat, beloved. If this month is your birthday, or you are celebrating your wedding anniversary, rise up on your feet now. Amen. Father, I thank you for this, your children. I pray, O oh Lord, that as they are celebrating their birthday in this month, goodness, mercy, favor, glory will overshadow your life in the name of Jesus. Everything you have lost in previous years, you shall repossess in the name of Jesus. By this time next year, you become a bigger bundle of testimonies. I'm also praying for those celebrating their wedding anniversary. You shall continue to be well with your home. No weapon formed against that home shall prosper. The Almighty shall fight all your battles. In Jesus' name we pray. Rise up on your feet, beloved. Bring out your prayer request letter and stretch it towards this altar. Thank you, Jesus. And believe God for a breakthrough. Father, we thank you for this prayer request. You are the God that answered by fire. Answer us by fire in the name of Jesus. Let every prayer request become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Put away your prayer letter now. It is the prophetic hour. The louder your amen, especially if you know these prophecies are relevant to your life, the better, the faster your answer. Sing this song of praises with holy madness, violently. As you sing this song of praises, you prepare heavens to make you key into the mystery of prophecy. Are you ready? Be thou exalted, Lord. Hallelujah, Master, we praise your name. Amen. Be thou Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, be thou exalted, Lord. Hallelujah, Master, we praise your name forever. Oh, yes. Johan, 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 Johan. He has given me victory. I will lift him. He over. He has given me victory. He over. Johan, Johan, Johan. He has given me victory. Giving me victory, Jehovah. God is good. He has done me well. Oh my soul, rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done me well. Oh my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. Rise up and praise the Lord. Oh, rise up and praise the Lord. Rise up and praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, rise up and praise the Lord. Rise up and praise the Lord. Rise up. Rise up and praise the Lord. Rise and praise the Lord. I prophesy unto the life of somebody here that within the next two months, the Lord will lift you to where no man can pull you down. The Lord will lift you to where no man can pull you down. In the name of Jesus. prophesy upon your life that whether the enemy likes it or not windows of great opportunities shall open unto your life in the name of Jesus let your amen be loud thank you Jesus I say word from heaven to somebody here the Lord said although many people are against you now 
Those who are against us shall prostrate before you. Let your amen be loud. Aha. Uh -huh. Amen. For somebody here, the Lord said, Those who are trying to stop you, they have stopped themselves in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus, I profess unto your life that you will be delivered from the past and rescued into the future. Thank you, Jesus. speak unto your life that your life will be an environmental transformer and you will be a bringer of blessings in the name of Jesus every messenger of affliction of sickness as I count seven now they shall immediately carry their loss away from your life in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. When I begin to count, you begin to cry out, carry your Lord in Jesus' name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hear this word of the Lord. The Lord said, I should tell you that it will make victory out of your loss. Uh -huh. And all those who are not interested in seeing you around, it is they who will not see around. In the name of Jesus, you shall overtake your problems, you shall overtake your enemies. You shall overtake them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now I say one from heaven to somebody here. The last thing I should tell you that you have had enough bitter times. Your hour of testimony has come. Your hour of testimony has come. In the name of Jesus, the blockages that have been arresting your blessings, they have been arrested now. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. In the name of Jesus. The Lord said, I will heal your diseases. I will bind your wound. I will refund your losses. The Lord will accelerate you into a new place. Receive that divine acceleration now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That person over there. You are about to experience a marathon of favor. A marathon of favor. In the name of Jesus. The seed of affliction arising from your foundation has been killed now. In the name of Jesus. Ah, there is somebody over there. The Lord said, He will sweep you into great breakthroughs. Aha. And all those who feel they are big and they are hindering you, they shall be massively disgraced. Aha. And I prophesy upon your life that in your life this year, there shall be no loss. 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 
There shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. In the name of Jesus. Whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, this is your season of fulfillment. This is your season of good reports. Evil reports shall scatter. In the name of Jesus. And this prophecy is specially for somebody here. The Lord said very soon, very soon, you shall be able to give 90% of your income. Amen. And you will live abundantly on the 10% that is left. And you that brother over there, you that sister over there, I have this strange word for you. The Lord said, you shall bury the enemy assigned to terminate your life. You shall bury the enemy assigned to terminate your life. Let your amen be loud. The power that divided the Red Sea shall change your story. 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 All your stubborn problems and stubborn enemies, they shall commit suicide. In the name of Jesus. Hey, I have this word for somebody. I don't know who this word is for. But if your amen can shake the gates of hell, it will manifest in your life. Your enemies will plan your celebration. That's right. They will plan it. In the name of Jesus, every threat to your existence shall backfire. That's right. And all the holes, the holes they are digging for you. The digger of the hole shall fall into the hole. And you shall be an overcomer. In the name of Jesus. Every problem the enemy is creating for you. Shall become your stepping stone to greatness. And every sickness. Assigned against your destiny. Shall die. It's happening. It's happening. Every sickness has sinned against your destiny. Shall die, shall die. In the name of Jesus. All the ancestral vultures delegated to feed on your destiny shall be buried alive. In the name of Jesus. Every amen assigned to kill you shall die in your place. Thank you, Jesus. You shall receive favor from unexpected places. You shall have a voice from unexpected places. Your enemies shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus, every agent of sorrow that is assigned against you shall crumble not only that any door of tragedy open to torment you shall be shattered to pieces ha! thank you Jesus any chain that has tied you down to one spot is broken by the power of God it's broken it's broken it's broken it's broken it's broken, it's broken, it's broken, it's broken. In the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace you shall be massively disgraced. In the name of Jesus. You will jump out of the pit of poverty. Into the arena of prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Every year of unconscious detention 
unconscious detention in the camp of the enemy is broken to pieces now in the name of Jesus now this word is for somebody here every serpent and scorpion of your father's house that defeated your parents shall die let your amen be loud whether the enemy likes it or not you will cross over to the arena of victory something is about to happen now a miracle that will shock your doctors it's about to happen creative miracles are about to happen aha every power that has padlock your success that has padlock your children shall release the keys by force they shall release the keys 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 in the name of jesus every serpent that has swallowed the breakthrough of anyone here the stomach of the serpent shall burst and your breakthrough shall jump out in the name of jesus every power that has threatened you in the past and they think that they have finished their agenda they shall receive ugly surprise in the name of jesus the habitation of strangers in the body in anybody here now strangers in the head strangers in the chest strangers in the kidney strangers in the womb let the habitation be rendered desolate for them now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus all the enemies that have entered into the garden of your life the power of god shall swallow them this month i prophesy to somebody here whose voice can be very loud that your satanic siege is over the siege is over the siege is over i speak unto the life of somebody here that pit of witchcraft where they are diverting your benefits diverting your benefits your benefits are being withdrawn and the pit shall be closed up in the name of jesus i plug your life into the arena of promotion receive the promotion now receive it now in the name of jesus every river of pain river of failure from which you have been swimming shall terminate and you shall swim into the river of gain and prosperity you shall fly from the sky of rejection to the firmament of dominion in the name of jesus you shall depart from the bus stop of stagnancy and go into the bus stop of breakthroughs in the name of jesus there is a word for somebody here if your amen can be louder than anyone around you the lord said i should tell you that your breakthrough shall surpass every previous breakthrough that you have had in the name of jesus receive it 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 in the name of jesus you will arise and your land will be a land of favor your testimony shall be great your miracle shall give back to other miracles you will move from victim to victor you will move from shame to fame 
This is for somebody here who has been crying to the Lord. God shall waste your wasters. God shall waste your wasters. God shall waste your wasters. In the name of Jesus. And your wasted years shall be compensated. Now with a loud voice, 21 times we shout, I receive it. Then you said the last one in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? Go! I receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every year that you have lost shall be restored. Every joy that you have lost shall be restored. All the helpers that you have lost shall be restored. Your business, your career shall come alive in a new way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon your life that your speed shall increase. Your speed shall increase. Your speed shall increase. Your speed shall increase. In the name of Jesus. Your impossibility shall become possible. And you shall be celebrated. Let your amen be loud. Your prayer points here today shall be celebrated. Shall be celebrated. In the name of Jesus. Your life shall disappoint your enemies. Let your amen be loud. Your life shall disappoint your enemies. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon you. Stars cannot be touched. Your destiny is untouchable. Every demonic rule contrary to your laughter, they are overruled now. In the name of Jesus, there is somebody here. You are walking into uncommon turnaround. Within the next 10 days, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God will locate you and connect you to the airpass of your destiny. In the name of Jesus, you shall sing your song and dance your dance. You shall sing your song and dance your dance. You shall sing your song and dance your dance. You shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. In the name of Jesus. Every ladder of darkness. Placed to harass you. Shall become your ladder of honor. In the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord now. Masikaya Boshendera Bakanta. Begin to thank the Lord. Something great has happened in your life today. Makatonda Sente Yaboshende. Ribosotonde Keyaboshente Rabo. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh God, I'm very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh Lord, I'm very, very grateful. I am saying thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, sing it loud, sing it loud.
We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. Adoration. Hallelujah, we give glory to the Lord. My lasting Father, have that lasting Son, the mother Holy God, be that glorified. Everlasting Father, everlasting Son, the mother Holy God, be that glory. Louder! Be thou glorified, be thou glorified, be thou glorified, be thou glorified, be thou glorified. Praising the Lord, oh my soul, no. this is the day do I play. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise it, praise the Lord. This is the day Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise it. This is the day we have made. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Things have happened here today. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Stretch your two hands towards this altar. If you are watching out of the satellite, stretch your hands towards your screen. Listen to this words of prophecy. Your destiny shall attract color. In the name of Jesus. In the book of bad luck, your name is cancelled forever. In the name of Jesus. The best effort of your stubborn enemies shall end in painful failure. In the name of Jesus. You will celebrate Jesus. And every disappointment shall become divine appointment. Your life will be a proof that the God of Elijah is still on duty. The Bible says, When a righteous man falleth seven times, that he shall rise again. I prophesy for somebody here, you shall bounce back. 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 Right there where you are, professor, upon your life. That no man born of a woman shall stop you from becoming what God wants you to become. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from this day, there shall be divine revolution in your life. We shall bring you divine elevation. In the name of Jesus. And every opposition that shall come your way 
shall bring you mighty breakthroughs. Listen to me. The Lord said, heaven will bring down their policemen to arrest your arresters. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will lift you up and change your story completely. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Shout a several for the man. Amen. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a Jericho destroying hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes and raise up our two hands to the Lord and pray for ourselves loud and clear in this song. Holy Ghost, do it again. Do it in my life. Possibility, possible, possibility. He over Jairai, over the sea, over Shama. Hallelujah. Possibility, possible, possibility. Raise 
up your right hand to the heavenly beloved. O thou that troubled the Israel of my destiny, the God of Elijah shall trouble you today. In the name of Jesus. name we pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for this day. We praise your holy name for bringing us to this wonderful service. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. And so wonderful God, touch us by your power tonight. Lay your hands upon our destiny. Teach us directly from your feet. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's have a seat, God bless you. Amen. This evening we are going to look at some of the deepest areas of scripture. And which sometimes can make a difference between a person living or dying. It has been well said that every man's mountain is a mountain of his ignorance. We are looking at what I call command the morning. Command the morning. Or if you like, commanding the morning. Sisters, what did I say just now? Brothers, what was that that was said? In Job chapter 38. I read verses 12 and 13. Job chapter 38 from 12 to 13. It's good for you to follow all the scriptures that are going to be read and be able to understand some deep things about the word of God. Job chapter 38 from verse 12. Are we there? This is God speaking. To Job. Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days? That is Job, since your mother gave birth to you. Have you ever commanded the morning and caused the day spring to know its place? Another word for day spring is dawn. Day spring there means dawn. You can say dawn to know its place. The dawn is the period before the sun begins to arise. When the sun begins to come up. Dawn. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. Notice this is God speaking. And notice that this fellow Job is a contemporary of Moses. And this book of Job really is the first book in the Bible. And here you have these deep words being said. I read it again in verse 12 and 13. As thou commanded the morning since thy days, and caused the day spring to know its place, that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. Another version of the Bible says, have you ever in your life giving orders to the morning? Have you ever sent the dawn to his correct post? Another version of the Bible says, in all your life, have you ever ordered the morning? Or have you ever shown the dawn its place? So that it may get hold of the corners of the earth and shake wickedness out of it. These are deep scriptures. Well, let me give you a little bit of background so you know where we're coming from. The Bible says, in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. The Bible always speaks of plural heavens, plural heavens. The Bible talks about three kinds of heavens. There is the highest heaven, which is called the third heaven. This is the place and throne of God. You can find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, 
2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 2. 2 Corinthians 12 2. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. Whether in the body, I cannot tell. Whether out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. Such a one caught up into the third heaven. And I knew such a man. Whether in the body, I cannot tell. God knew it. How that he was caught up into paradise and had unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. That is the third heaven, the paradise, where the throne of God is. The Bible talks about the second heaven. The second heaven, on the other hand, refers to the dwelling place of spirits, bad spirits. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and power rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness wickedness in heavenly places. So there's the second heavens which is the habitation of cruelty habitation of darkness. But then there's the first heaven too. This first heaven is what you find in Genesis chapter 1 Genesis chapter 1 from verse 14. Genesis chapter 1 verse 14. It says this. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs. Let them be for seasons. Let them be for days. Let them be for years. Look at that again. Verse 14. Genesis Chapter 1, and God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heaven. What is the duty of those light? One, to divide the day from the night. Two, for signs. Three, for seasons. Five, for days. Six for years and seven in verse 15, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. Then he made the stars also. What I've just read to you now is what is called the ordinances of heavenly bodies. The way they operate. Therefore, beloved, your life, my life, the life of everything on earth is connected to light. 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 It is the light that decides your age. It is the light that decides whether you are growing old or you are growing young, you are growing tall or short. It is the light that determines life. And there is a power that rules the night. There is a power that rules the day. That now takes us to the wonderful words of the psalmist. Who said, the sun shall not smite me by day. Nor the moon by night. These have very, very serious implications. The few verses I've read to you now are being used by powers of darkness against ignorant Christians. Because they are aware that many of us don't understand it. And we don't know how they run. Therefore, in these heavenly places that you see above, the sun, the moon, and the stars, they're there. And God knows that there are powers therein. Therefore, God forbids the worship of the sun, the moon, and the stars. Because when people discovered this they began to worship those elements and people now are taking over these ordinances that god has ordained to help us in order to oppress us the heaven is supposed to declare the glory of god it's supposed to give light on the earth it's supposed to be for signs and for seasons for days and for years to rule the day and the night but powers of darkness and enemies of god they have captured those things. They are now using it to receive satanic worship. They are also using it to oppress man. 
What we are saying this evening is beyond I'm going for deliverance. No. If somebody has raised an altar against your life in the star, it's more than I'm going for deliverance. Most deliverance cases, what we are doing is removing from a person's life a deposit or presence of darkness. It doesn't remove a conspiracy against you in the heavens. And then when you cross over from that first temple to the second one, then you see an array of wicked spirits. And beloved, when we are talking about wicked spirits, we are talking about spirits that are even more wicked than the devil himself. Spirits that even the devil himself does not have control over them. Because they are wickedness incarnate. Right there in that second realm lies the abode of what we normally call ancestral spirits. And many people who pray day and night, as their angel of blessing is bringing their blessing down, they are confronted at the second heavens by ancestral spirits, angels of darkness, who will say, no, you will not take this down. This is why prayer is a difficult work. This is why we need the power and the spirit of Elijah. Because once, once your prayers and your life is on the chariot of fire, it will go through without any hindrance. Remember, Daniel was on his knees for 21 days. But God answered his prayer day one. And an angel of God was bringing the answer back to Daniel. But right there at that second level, there was a wicked power that was strong enough to confront the angel that was bringing it. And if Daniel had gotten up from his knees, that angel would have gone back. But the prayer that Daniel was praying now brought reinforcement from heaven. So when we are talking about wickedness, the most wicked spirits are over our heads above. And so I want you to understand this tonight. Just to give you some background so you know what we are talking about. But we as born again Christians, part of the authority that God gave to us extends to the works of God's hands. All the works of God's hands. Including the sun, the moon, the stars, and the host of heaven. According to Psalm 8 verse 6. Psalm 8 verse 6 says this. Psalm 8 verse 6. Thou made us him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. No matter how wild you are as an animal, man can put it under control. I was reading the testimony of those who went to evangelize in Ekwe. I mean, evangelists from this church. They went to Ekwe. They did a drive fast. And they were going to break their fast with Akara and something else. So one sister sprayed on her food and the, the wind blew away her clothes. So she ran to go and bring her clothes back. By the time the sister would come back to her food, a snake had gotten there. The snake had eaten half of the Akara. The snake had punched the pure water bag open. And the snake was already eating the gari by the time she came. So men of God had to attack the snake. And mounted this strange snake and burnt it. But those living in that building said they had never seen a serpent there before. We're talking about wickedness. And I want you to know that you either fight or you perish. There is no middle camp. All the churches where they are dancing and singing and jumping up now and playing disco. Don't worry. They are still coming back to pray. Serious prayer. They are coming back. Because there is a host of wickedness above us. And they sit down and plan evil. They devise evil. They mastermind it. Wickedness in the heavens. God gave us dominion over all these animals. He puts all things under interfaith, including the sun, the moon, the stars, and everything that God made. God knew that those bodies could misbehave. And they could be used against us. But when we are ignorant of what to do, then they do all kinds of havoc to our lives. That's why in the Bible, you find many men of God who dealt with heavens and the elements. Moses caused darkness in Egypt. And that dealt with the power of Egypt. Elijah too dealt with the elements of heaven. Deborah spoke to the stars. 
Isaiah, uh, Isaiah turned the sun dial of hires. Joshua spoke to the sun and stopped it. Beloved, we need to wake up. There are many things we need to understand. One woman in the Lord many years back went to bury her father. And as the burial was about to start, some people came and said, we are 